Welcome to this very special Critical Role one-shot experience with our partnership, with our friends at Bethesda and Zinemax Online Studios for their 2021 release of The Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood. Uh, for a little context, uh, if those who want to know, ESO has a year-long adventure, which includes the Blackwood chapter release and also multiple DLCs that unveil the storyline as it progresses, one of which is already out now called The Flames of Ambition. Uh, now, the storyline is part of the Gates of Oblivion overall storyline. Some of you may be familiar with Oblivion and you know the previous Elder Scrolls games. This is uh, part of the ESO, uh, kind of diving into that awesomeness of the world and lore. Uh, it uncovers the scheme specifically in this of the Daedric Prince Mehrunes Dagon, 800 years before the events of Elder Scrolls IV. Um, uh, I'm super excited about this. Uh, it comes out, uh, Blackwood specifically comes out on June 1st for PC, Mac, and Stadia, and June 8th for Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S, PS4, and PS5, across the board. Uh, and you can check out everything right now at www.elderscrollsonline.com slash buy. Uh, super excited they approach us to do this, uh, partially because I've been playing Elder Scrolls for forever. I've played through like all the main games. Uh, part of the reason that me and Mersha named our bird Dagon was after Mehrunes Dagon. Uh, really? So, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it was, Mehrun, it was a combination of Mehrunes Dagon and like the classic uh, Mesopotamian deity slash uh, cosmic horror, you know, sea god. So like a lot of reasons to go with Dagon at that point. But Mehrunes Dagon, we had just finished playing through uh, Skyrim at the time. That's so. actually why we named Ronan Ronan Mehrunes Willingham. <laughs> So, that's so weird that for we have that. For a brief comment. second, for a brief second, I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, been a long time fan of the series, and super excited that we get to to play some of this chaos into their world. Apologies in advance, Bethesda, for ruining it. Um, but uh, before we begin, I want to go ahead and do a quick round of our amazing players at the table. Uh, I want to go ahead and introduce ourselves, starting on this side, Sam. Uh, my character or myself? Hi, Yourself I'm Sam Regal. And your character. Oh, I'm Sam Regal. Uh, and I am playing uh, the character of Slaughter Grim. <laughs> Slaughter Grim, the necromancer. Uh, what do you need? What else? Argonian. Argonian. No, but like, what else should I say about. That's fine. Well, the rest of it we'll find in the story. Okay, I'm. My name's. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the gate. <laughs> Tell us it. Hi, my name is Allison Jaffe, and for uh, this this uh, fun little romp, I'll be playing uh, Mallory Claxton, and he's a Dunmer uh, sorcerer, so Hell that's yeah. where we're going. Wonderful. Abria! Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar, and I'm playing Tavima, your Red Guard Templar. Yes. Yeah. Those words all meant things. Dora. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, <laughs> and today I'm going to be playing an orc named Grelnok. Nightbringer. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you. Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle and Bradley, and today I'm playing Hua Sen, and I am an Altmer uh, Warden. I almost, I almost said Altmer Hostess. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> She's not actually joking. Um, well, there we go. Thank you all so much for joining us for this. Super excited to have you. And with that, I think let's go ahead and jump into the narrative chaos that will ensue for our Elder Scrolls one-shot here tonight. Let's do this. Yeah. So, we begin within the sprawling realm of Tamriel, during the historical period known as the Interregnum. Oh. No emperor sits on the ruby throne at this moment, while war and chaos between political factions ravages the land and divides the people. Rumors continuously spread of dark arcana and clandestine threats growing in shadowed places. But here, Within the safety of the Aldmeri Dominion, such matters rarely interest the more common folk, like you, who seek to just 
make a living right now. Now, crossing each other's paths, as you may have as young sellswords, curious wanderers, or even just happenstance allies, you forged a friendship, or at least a convenient business partnership, strong enough between you all to match this collective interest in living the less dangerous life and in pulling your gold saved through whatever work you may have done, bloody or not, to purchase a ramshackle hillside inn on the outskirts of Grotwood called the Dreary Jug. That was the name when you purchased it. You're welcome to decide if that's what you want to keep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The renovations have been slow <clears throat> for the past few months since you've acquired this location. The clientele has been a bit sparse, but it's beginning to swell a bit. As tensions rise beyond these lands, you begin to see more soldiers passing through, and with them, more coin. So the prospects are growing steadily brighter. A handful of Bosmer soldiers of the Dominion military are deep in their late night rounds at a far table as one of them suddenly raises a hand towards the nearby waiter, shouting, Hey! Lizard! Another round of four eye grog and a bit of old park for a platter for me and my mates, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Say, say that one more time, one more time. Uh, I just need to get the order right. Uh, yeah, uh, another round of four eye, four eye grog, four eye grog. Four yeah, I'm just going to get two, two rounds for the two, whole table and uh, four eye grog, yep. Yeah, and a, a big old pork platter. Pork, you don't mind. pork platter, pork, pork platter. platter. Anything special? Do you need extra napkins or anything? I'll, I'll just be right back. Um, uh, 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 grill, grill knock? Oh, wait. Grelnock, uh, we we need two four-eyed grogs uh, over at table uh, the, the the big meaty table over there, and um um uh, oh uh, Mallory Mallory yeah uh, can I come back there no all right Mallory we need a, the pork platter pork's still smoking it's in back well you what do I do I say no fine give me one minute all right Ugh. all right thank thank you. Order up. That was fat. I, I just had to pour it. I guess so. That's <laughs> no. how it works. Yeah. I'm. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. We've been here a couple months. You should learn this. I just. I get so nervous. Get the fucking drinks okay. and go. Great. Slaughter. What? Here's a plate. Apologize to them. It's terrible because they ordered it too early. All right. You should I will know better. Try to hold all this stuff. And uh, you sco uh, scoot your way through the the dark interior of the tavern. The smell itself. It a combination of. Partially cooked foods, well cooked foods, and prematurely cooked foods in this particular instance. Uh, splatters of long dried and semi cleaned bits of liquor and wine across the, the stained wooden floor. Um, over towards the front, where the open doors are currently ajar to reveal the freshly night sky amongst the trees of the nearby wooded area. You can see leaning against the table, or see leaning against the, uh, the doorway, the, the bouncer, Tavima. I am just looking out into the street, and the moment I like make eye contact with anyone, you come get some food and a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the, as you glance out there, and this like you are kind of on the outskirts uh, of this area of Grotwood, uh, specifically kind of this tavern definitely corners this area, which is mostly just heavy wood and the, the path where a lot of uh, soldier footfall and occasional uh, horse traffic comes through. There is one, looks like a, a farmer who has like a satchel on his back and he's just wearing like a simple leather cap, kind of looks over. Oh. No. Okay. I don't. I run forward. No, no, Tavima, we talked about this. Don't know, yell like the shouting, keep the, Use your inside voice. I know you're partly outside, I'm outside. but sure. Yeah, but you shouldn't. So, um, young, uh, beautiful, handsome wanderer, please come hither. We have warm fires and lovely um, uh, cold drinks and. We got grog! Uh, <laughs> liquors. Make an intimidation check, make a persuasion check. Ooh. Oh, it was on a 20 and then it rolled to an 8. Oh. <laughs> 11. Uh. Fourteen. Uh, okay, uh, I think I'll, I'll take my uh, take my chances. <laughs> Come on. Do you have a place where I can put this down? Here, I'll take it. And oh. I just kind of try to lift him and his. No. <laughs> yep. Come on. Re releases it and quickly shuffles his way into the. Uh, it, it's it's not bustling per se, but at this point in the evening, there's there's three tables that seem to have some some folk who have wandered in. Uh, you expect it to get a little rowdier as the night progresses, um, but uh, you've 
you found yourselves a comfortable space, kind of settling into the various aspects of the business as you progress. Um, you go over to the the table of Bosmer soldiers. Uh, here's your uh, your plate of, of food, uh, 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 folks, and 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 here's a couple of uh, uh, of grog's best in town. <laughs> I think you'll find uh, freshly poured. Um, also, and I put my hand on his shoulder. Uh, is a, a he, a she? No, the one is talking to okay. you. Yeah. I've, I've read that if you uh, have a personal touch with uh, the person that you're waiting, well, you're more likely to get uh, better tips. So uh, it's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm I'm Slaughter. Uh, I'm the waiter here. Uh, we've been working here for a little while, and it's gee, gee whiz, it's really great. I'm getting to meet all sorts of people here. Go, go away. Uh, well, if you need anything, just. Uh, uh, there's a little bell that I put on the, the table. Pork's underdone. I don't. Do you want me to tell the chef? We'll make do. Good. I don't like the chef, but y yes, thank you so much, sir. I'll just put my hand on you one more time, and I'm off. Laura. <laughs> uh, hi. Yes. Well, well, what's up? You're a shit waiter. Well, I'm trying to do better. Just don't try. I, I, I have to. This is my dream. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you this before, because we don't talk a lot. <laughs> I come from a long line of necromantic torturers. Mm. Um, my, 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 my father was named Massacre Grim. My, my mother is Felony Grim Leibowitz. <laughs> my mother is, uh, I mean, my brother is Homicide Grim, and my sister is Agony Grim, and we've all been long-time family of torturers. We've worked for despots and tyrants, and, uh, you know, mainly my mom and dad are freelancers now, semi-retired, but they expected... Shot over to him. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's very strong. Um, they wanted me to go into the family business, of course, but I... I just can't with the torturing. It's just too much, you know? It's icky and you get splatter on yourself and the screams of anguish and agony. I just can't, I can't do it. So I'd like to be in the service industry and I'm making a go of it. And I think that what we've got here is really something special, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think this is a really good um, setup we have. How can I be better? Stop talking. Just don't talk. Don't scare away the customers. Actually, I found, I just butt into your conversation, <laughs> I move, I like kick over another customer. Actually, I found that um, more talking and a lots and lots of direct eye contact is exactly what people want. They say no, but like their eyes, they say yes to me anyway. So when someone comes in and they say things like, oh, go away, what they really mean is I'm hurting inside and I just want someone to talk to. See, this is great advice. Wow, I did the thing that you told me earlier about touching them, yes, I no, think it really. Touch their insides. Don't touch their insides. <laughs> no, I meant. Don't. They're... I'm behind Hua right now, just like making dagger eye contact with the table, like. <laughs> Hua, Hua. All right, I'll, I'll keep a lid on it. I'll keep a lid on it. I'm gonna come running out of the kitchen. Drink, drink. Oh, Vina. You know, watch that table over there. They ordered the pork at this hour. I don't trust anybody who does that. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh. <laughs> Tavima just sits down on one of the other tables. Just Swans? watches. <laughs> yeah. You hear uh, some footfalls approaching, two different sets, kind of an, an odd cadence. Uh, you look and see on one side there is uh, an an Altmer or High Elf in fine cerulean clothing, kind of a, uh, a light brown hair, uh, who looks to be a bit, you know, powdered in the face, much much more done up than like the normal folk that kind of wander through this side. But has like a has a certain kind of uh, I don't know a a lifted back to him as he steps in your direction. Uh, a little bit behind, you see another figure who's currently hitching a horse over by the small side stables. Uh, it's kind of grungy looking. Um, Leather, kind of cloak-clad female with with dirty red hair that just kind of saunders up with a little bit of bag, and as the the Altmer approaches, ah, it, is this a place to come for a drink, perhaps, and a place to rest? Oh, oh. yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, yes. I'm knocking over chairs as I run <laughs> to the front door. I'm... Hello, hello. Ah, oh, yes. 
fellow Altimer, thank you. Welcome to our fine establishment. Where are you coming from today? What is your name? What's your name over there? Well, what have you had to eat today? Would you like to eat something different today? Well, oh, how tall are you exactly? Uh, let's begin with a table, perchance, and uh, maybe a maybe a spot of reddish wine, if you don't mind. Reddish wine, or do you want red wine? We do have reddish wine, but I don't know if it was technically the right. We got what? blood in the white. It, it's not quite the same, but I'll I'll go with what you recommend. Yes, we have wine of colors. Great. Um, I usher them over to uh, the our finest table in front of the fireplace. Okay, he sits down. the The other individual that that was came from the uh, uh, the horse was kind of like sauntered up to the side of the, the doorway as you're helping him get to his seat, kind of ends up coming up right to your area. Uh, she kind of rubs her chin a bit. And then just grab a seat. Mm. All right. Sits in and picks like a little side area, almost like a, an independent booth, and as opposed to ordering any food, pulls out a bag and just starts like removing bits of, looks almost like roadside jerky. <laughs> just starts chewing it at the table. Oh. Um, I'll just wander over to, to Vima. Are, I've forgotten. Are we allow Are we allowing clients to bring in their own food from outside, or, or I don't. I don't think Mallory would like that very much. I am. You just, can tell her not I'm to. I'm staring, deadlocked. I can tell. her, I'm just on my job. Yeah. If she gets rowdy, I'll bounce her out. But she seems fun. Okay. Offer her the plowman special. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is that? Sausage, sausage roll, uh, fresh potatoes, uh, some cheese, piece of bread. It's very nice. It's simple. It's rugged. Every every dish you describe sounds like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> Uh, ha hello, welcome to the dreary jug. Uh, I'm I'm Slaughter. Uh, I make super duper eye contact <laughs> with her. <laughs> um, uh, I'll be your waiter tonight. We uh, we have a special. Can I tell you about it? I just I just have a nail. Thanks. It's called the Plowman <laughs> Special. It's got sausage, potato, cheese, and bread. Can I interest you in that? I'm good. If I could just get a nail, please. Did you say a nail? An nail. Oh. <laughs> That would have been, yeah. Her eyes uh, wander. As you're talking, you see she's she's looking around. She's kind of like checking the place out, eating some jerky. First a time, first time in here. First time, ale, please. Sure, sure. Uh, I, G, we need an ale. Mm. Is that okay? That's fun. <laughs> Don't call me G. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd try it to get some witty ba banter or rapport going. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah, Wait, whatever you want. What? Hmm. All right, I go over, grab the ale, come back. Uh, here's your ale. Well, what's uh, What brings you to this uh, neck of the woods today? Um, Passing through. On your way to? Sounds interesting. Personal business. Yeah, very interesting. You're a real curious type, aren't you? Do I see any weapons on this person? Make a perception check. Yeah. I'd also like to add that from three. behind, I'm <laughs> I'm going. <"Lord."> <laughs> <laughs> Touch. <laughs> no, I think at this point I'm going to come around and like just kind of body hua and like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just drop her off in front of the elves where she belongs. <laughs> the other gentleman is sitting there, like he's taking his cloak off and set it over the chair, and it's just kind of. Gently awaiting his wine's arrival oh, as he looks here. around the establishment. I'll go to the back. The tables are the same table. Uh, there's multiple tables in this. The, the, so the fancy gentleman's at one table, the surly person is at another. Another table. Oh, it's kind of like a booth side okay. element, and there's the soldier table near the soldier floor. table. Got it. It's a busy night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I could use some help on the floor. <laughs> I'm not even out there. I'm searching for fucking wine. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Slow. You want me to get this one? Could you? I'm gonna walk over to the fancy. Oh God. Fancy. He's <laughs> in the process of going like. Uh, so, um, what, what can you tell me about this place? What's it called? Um, it's called the dingy, the jug of the um dirty uh drinking. Hole. What's the name of this place again? The dirty hole. That's the dreary, right. The, dirty, oh, the that's, dreary jug. The oh, dreary it's jug. That, yes, it's the dreary jug. I've forgotten. 
Well, I recommend perhaps maybe workshopping that a bit, seeing as it's a bit challenging to remember and or present. Um, but anyway. Wow, do you work in marketing? More or less, you could say. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, um... Where did you grow up? Where did you learn how to do marketing? What does marketing really mean? You're, you're new of management here, aren't you? Um, aren't we all new beings on this beautiful planet that we call... Hmm... <laughs> Near, near, near. You, I mean, I, I think that every place is new and exciting, and it's great to learn about every single thing that you may set your eyes upon. You just hear a loud crash of glass in the background <laughs> as I break the bottle over the bar. To the, uh, the, at, at this point, as, as, as you're kind of helping approach this point. Um, and you're coming over to, oh, yeah. to get the wine for the, for this gentleman. The uh, the 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 woman in the kind of the leathers goes. The surly one. The surly one kind of like puts the pouch away, downs the drink, and just exits. Oh. Like kind of muscles past you, oh. like done to go out into Wait, the night. Hold on, did, did she die? Uh, if you go look at, look at the table, I'll go look at the table. There's a handful of gold on the table. Okay. It's paid. It's paid. He's okay. It? Was she a good tipper? She, there was no tip. There was no tip. I put hands on her. <laughs> I'm not. A, That's why there's no tape. I'm not allowed to wear a sword anymore. So do you want me to punch her in the back of the head? Like, what are we doing? I, I don't know. What do you do in this situation? You're the you're the muscle. Did you do a? I did an excellent job. All right, I'm gonna follow her out. <laughs> like, you need to fucking tip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are all on hourlies. I work for tips over here. Okay. That's a valid point. It's a rough service, food service. I've been there. Um, as you kind of step out and shout that into what is now the, the early evening air, the little bit of torchlight flickering in the front porch area off the side of your face, you can just catch her kind of like stepping onto the road and turns around, mm-hmm. reaches into the pouch, takes a couple Uh-oh. coins, and just kind of throws them onto the ground mm-hmm. and keeps walking. Cool. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> there you go. Hey. <laughs> I like ripe them off on of my weird ruffly outfit that I hate so much. <laughs> cool. Here's Dirk. It's ground money. Good job. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. And thanks for the support. I know that I'm not the. This great. is a lot for me. Okay. You can just thank move you. on. Thank, thank you. you. Just thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> I'm going to take it over. Uh, there might be oh, glass oh. bits. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kindly. We have a sandwich platter. <laughs> got cheese, pickle sandwich, cucumber sandwich, curry chicken. I bake the bread Jeez, myself. I'm hungry, though. It's amazing and it complements the wine perfectly. There may be blood in the bread. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it's I'll eat. Perhaps just a, 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 a spot of the cheese platter, if you don't mind. Is it all on one platter? It's a sandwich platter. I can give you cheese and pickle and bread platter. It's gonna—it'll be deconstructed, but that's the plowman special. Just bring me the whole thing. <laughs> Go into the back. It's one of my favorite characters I've ever played. I can make you a serpent turf. <laughs> he leans his attention back to you. Well, uh. The, I guess best to say is I am um, an appreciator of the entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, business has been steadily growing, you would say? Uh, um, yes, today we've had three to- we have two tables, and that's amazing for us, I think. We're, we're doing quite well, we're probably, we're definitely gonna make it. <laughs> wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And what, bring, what else brings you to this, our humble, our humble little town? Well, my name is Divin, uh, takes a sip of his wine. I'm an. Just be careful, there's a little. No, never oh. mind. A bit, a bit granular. It's a bit of a grain. Oh, it's a specialty of um, hmm. uh, uh, the vineyards nearby. Um, I think. Curious. Notes of um, iron. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm an Ald Mary representative out of Elden Root. Uh, I assume you've all been rather forthright in your taxes to the Dominion in these trying oh, times? Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, uh, uh, Slaughter does all the all the math. Well, I, I would be curious to see your ledgers, please. It oh, right. Wait, what? It's a tax man. Le- ledgers? 
Yes, please, yeah. if you don't mind. Just Obviously. to keep everything forward and upright. These are uh, uh. Uh, times to be showing support for the Dominion that is keeping you safe. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna find some papers and I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> write some numbers and some lines on it. Okay, while well, you're doing that, <laughs> anyone else doing anything? Yeah. I mean, do you have paper? Like, can you prove who you are? Well, of course I can. He reaches Just into helps. his I don't. he reaches into his little like breast pocket and pulls out this really nice scroll that somehow he's kept immaculate while pressed within his <laughs> his breast and okay. unfurls it and shows it to you. And indeed, it is it is uh, Divin Lesson, the uh, Almeri tax collecting individual. It is a very unique, lengthy title, um, but it. Seems, as far as your experience with formalized Dominion paperwork, to be forthright. Cool. Well, we'll get those. I'm gonna. No. <laughs> Just walks away. Bring it back out. Okay, there we go. Uh, you'll see there on line five. It says that it says taxes. For go taxes. Ahead and, go ahead and just roll a general. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You can choose dexterity or intelligence check. <laughs> what do we got here? What are we looking at? Uh, ooh, yeah, we're we're solid on both these numbers. <laughs> Don't know who rolled for me, but woof. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I wish it would have gone off the table because it landed on a two. Oh. All right, so well, so you know, plus one. <laughs> there so. you go. So three. So <laughs> <laughs> so three. <laughs> So that that was just for the assemblance of the papers you made in the back, which are you know when a child makes a really cute drawing and the parents put it on the fridge. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, if they made a ledger that they, they saw their dad do on tax day, so it's, it's kind of in a similar realm. Um, I would like you to also make a deception check for oh, me. Oh, great! Gotcha. Natural twin, I believe. Yeah. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> so that's a four. It's a four. Hmm. <laughs> I really don't want to make a scene here, but are you to tell me that you've just presented to uh, an official of the Dominion um, fraudulent documentation of your income for a new business such as this? Well, I wouldn't, these, those papers were just here when we moved in, I just thought that that's what. This is a new business, uh, sir. We're, we've just started out, and as you know, many establishments like ours fail within the first six months, so we're still getting on our feet. Um, haven't worked out the books correctly yet, but um, oh. wow, over here is is on it. Oh, okay. oh I'm, I was supposed to, I thought you were to. We, we have a plan, we have a plan, ha yes. and we just haven't uh, enacted it yet, but we're, we're working on it. What is the deadline for, 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 pay for payment? This establishment is a number of months behind, I believe, from the previous owner. Oh, no. Well, that, as, yeah. that's why. <sighs> but as per tax code 13AA underscored, uh, within the Dominion itself, uh, New proprietors are to carry over any existing debts from previous proprietors. Ooh, they didn't that tell feel us that good they? or fair. I walk over with the sandwiches and put them down. I'll be taking the tips on this one. What are we all doing here? Uh, There's a bit of a paperwork. Um, we owe taxes. We owe some tax. but something. How much do we owe? I could tell you if you gave me a proper ledger. Well, if you don't know Purple. how much we owe, then why? Yeah, well, I'll, hmm. Then perhaps you would need somebody to look these up for you, and that is quite a bit pricey. I'll go find a ledger. <laughs> You've lost I go the look the chicken curry sandwiches, and I just take I want that chicken curry sandwich. Thank you. I grab one and put it in my mouth. I'm going to look boxes that have been like covered and stuff, try to find a ledger. Yeah. Make an investigation check. I'll help. Okay. Oh, well, uh, yeah, oh, I'm back already there. Help it, yeah. Okay. And just the whole time, like, I'm, like, not really helping you look as much as I'm, like, are we gonna just kill this here? guy? This is definitely gonna <laughs> be. Are we just gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna, yeah. yeah, okay. I just wanted to be on the same page. <gasps> oh, oh. Hmm? Okay. Investigation? Yes. Wow. Uh, four, five, no, 16. Hey. 16. There you go. Teamwork. 
Um, looking around, you find scraps of some notation of shipments that were brought in, and like you've kept a few pieces of paperwork that of you know receiving drinks and food materials and, and just general kind of in and outgoing income. Um, but you're also very new to this as a collective, and you've not kept the best notation. Uh, so you're, you're a little bit of a loss. Like, it's it's a little frustrating, and kind of a learning as you go, unfortunate circumstance. Uh, bring out all the papers that I could find and hand it over to the guy. As you're back there search, or searching and figuring this out, both of you, he begins to stand up and walk about the establishment as the uh, soldiers kind of finish up their meal and rattly leave, and one of them begins to complain, like, oh man, I'm feeling a little weird. <laughs> and they kind of make their way out into the night. Um, <laughs> he begins looking around. Well, this is uh, quite a collection of um, wines here on this rack. Oh, yes, um, that one's uh, red. That one um, is sort of a lighter red. Uh, mm. That one is um, white. It looks clear to me, though, so I don't know if that's called, maybe it's called a clear wine, but that's a special thing. Um, hmm. He puts yeah. it within a bag. Oh, oh actually, we, we uh, sorry, but we actually need that to, to sell and make money so that we can pay our taxes. Oh, of course, of course, I understand. You Would should you probably like to... order some. Oh. Uh, and begins to kind of slowly walk around over towards the edge of the bar and kind of glancing about. Some fine silverware is here as well. Oh, um, it's actually some silverware we found when we got here, and it was quite dirty. We just we just cleaned it, but it's um, it's probably not worth anything. It's it looks like it's probably like trash silverware, really. Hmm. I wouldn't even call it silver silverware. More like metal Pick the prongs. Hmm. Yes. Hands off the goods. Hand over your taxes. I'm gonna walk over. <gasps> It's a sample of our smoked pork on the house. <laughs> Walk away. He <laughs> takes a bit of it. I wouldn't eat the pork at this time of day. Let's let it I'm happen. sorry, sorry. Let's let it happen. Okay. Go ahead. We have a smoker in the back. Yeah. Make a deception check. Me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 18. <gasps> he goes, he goes. Hmm. We found papers. Look at the papers and. Begins to thumb through them a bit, kind of glancing up, giving each of you eye contact as he does so. These are rather incomplete. It would be a shame to have to return empty handed. I don't want to do something. You're well, an elf. I, Talk I, to the elf. I, I, Make an all, elf deal. Not all elves know each other. Um, but, okay, so, well, what are we talking about? How. How much like mortal? I feel how like much they money? <laughs> how much money are we are we talking here to uh, appease uh, our uh, absence of some papers? Well, I mean to uh, to alleviate an intrusive inspection of the entire operation here at the uh, is it the the dingy hole you called it? Um, I'm gonna um, go write that on the chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, like uh, yes, that is the current name. Uh, perhaps a deferment fee of about uh, 300 gold. Oh. Be... <laughs> oh, oh. Do we, what's our, do we have that much? Mm, 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 I don't think, like, mm -hmm. like, like maybe five gold. Five, we need that money to pay for the fair for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> how about a bunch of um, bird's nests? I can ask some of my friends to bring them in and, and you can use them to decorate your front lawn. I can get you about um, 20 bird's nests by tomorrow morning. This grows tiresome. I've been sent here to do a collection. Now, either I'm going to collect, or I'm going to have to return here with more men. I'm giving the opportunity to keep business flowing as it always has flown. Now, we're doing this the easy way or the hard way? What do you want? Money. We ain't got your money. How much would it take for you to flow? As I said. 300 gold. How, if, what, what if, what if, what if we got it for you tomorrow? Well, I'd already be on the road back. Hmm. All right. I mean, how many men do you got? Because, I don't know, we should just like explore all of our options. Them. Yeah, right? Is that a threat? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Are you? I'm the bouncer. Can you tell? <laughs> Look. Uh, 
Yeah, she's really scary. I'm very scary. I Working can tell. Have the soldiers already left? The them? soldiers have left. It's pretty much at, at this hour. It's just you and the tax collector. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The way I see it is in this very empty tavern. There's five of us and the one of you right now. So I would like to have a conversation about a deferment plan because I don't know if you're necessarily going to be able to get to your soldier friends to come back and continue this conversation, so we should just have it now. Make an intimidation check. No. <laughs> 13? 13's not bad, not bad. Okay. You seem to get a little rustled, and he's like, look, I, I, business is just going as it's always been. Do not hold it against me. I'll come back tomorrow. Good man. You should stop eating the pork. <laughs> he kind of touches his stomach a little bit. <laughs> well, good evening then. And he kind of struts his way out of the establishment and is gone in the night. I hate him. Not a I didn't get in a fight. That's great, but not a victory. No? I still owe this gentleman uh, 300 gold, and you can bet that he'll come back with reinforcements of some sort. You hear. What's that? Are we still Go open? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I open the door. Uh, outside, you see him currently nailing what looks like <gasps> a piece of paper on the front of the tavern, which says, this property is no longer in business <gasps> for the time being by order and decree of the Eldari Dominion. <gasps> Rude. I How am I gonna get the money if we can't even chalk from under my cape? And I just write, "But we'll be back just as soon as we can." Ooh, silver lining. <gasps> and I add it to the board for names. The silver lining. <laughs> yeah. That's Ooh. Really good. Yeah, right. Make a perception check. Okay. Still like dingy hole. Oh, I like 20. dingy hole. <laughs> Natural twenty. Yeah. For a total of. Oh, uh, uh, was it an investigation? You said. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty-two. All right, so as he begins to trounce off and get onto his horse and begin to make his way off, as you kind of write the chalk bit, kind of out there alone, listening in the night, the crickets kind of, and in the night, the occasional distant kind of owl sound. <laughs> and, you know, the occasional uh, <laughs> feral wildlife goats that are also ate the pork, apparently. Um, <laughs> You hear this this strange <laughs> like heavy impacts and rustling. With the natural 20, uh, it seems to be coming loosely from behind the tavern and in and, and kind of to the right side of the structure. Oh, 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 oh. I kind of come back into the tavern. Um, everyone, I think. There's a large creature, perhaps behind the behind the uh, tavern. Should we go investigate? I reach behind the bar and grab my battle axe off the. Ooh, long <laughs> time. Get the stick. I've got my my notebook in case anyone <laughs> orders anything. <laughs> I uh, reach. How do you know it's a creature? Um, it sounds, you know, it might be a big cow that I got, that escaped, but I think it's something, it's something very, very large and heavy. Um, so it's either a cow or something more dangerous. I just, whatever it is, I want to get violent right now. I would really Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to go like run into the back and go grab all my stuff like, yeah! <laughs> just, <laughs> just don't, just, just remember though, if our establishment gets sort of a reputation for, you know, being deadly or whatever, our people might not come. I think if we put sawdust down and like, it would be like an expectation, and then it would be like a like a destination thing. Oh, like oh, I love sawdust. You'll, it'll be dangerous at the dingy yeah. hole, yeah. right? Or what? What are we calling this place? Uh, the silver dingy hole. hole. But uh, silver I would like lining. Also add real nice. Yeah. yeah. To the list. I like. I feel like silver lining creates too many expectations. Yeah. I like the jug part of the dreary jug, mm -hmm. honestly. So I was thinking, um, uh, either. Either rum tum jugger or, or 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 jugs the way we are. 
<laughs> oh, I like jugs the way we are because it implies that the way we are is perfect and like jugs themselves are a vessel waiting to be filled with experiences. And blood. And a little glass sometimes. But we can we can come back to it. <laughs> it goes on the board. I put it on the okay, board. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all righty. As you all gather your things, uh, Mallory, frustrated to see that the sandwich platter that you prepared has been largely untouched by the individual that left. Grabbing a couple more. Yeah, I grabbed some my, pickles my and hat it off and, the plate. And, uh, <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. I'm very proud. This is this is the. I was I was, I was very excited about adding this to the menu. I'm working on it. <laughs> just eating the sandwich with the battle eggs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just I'm chewing it together. As you all begin to for a month. step outside of the of the tavern, immediately you see there's like one uh, weary traveler who had just kind of pulled up on his horse, goes like, oh, I'm sorry, you closed. Duh. A little bit. Do you want Welcome back. <laughs> and he rides off. Okay. And about that point, you guys can begin to hear the same. <laughs> it's like a heavy impact and like a dull, almost breaking sound. But it's repetitive. Should we all go together or split up and go around the... I feel like just marching straight to it. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, let's stay together. It's a little spooky. Can I try to recognize it? Like, what the sound is? Uh, Sure, make a perception check. Different die. Oh my god, worse. Nine. Mm. Nine. You, you've heard the sound of splitting wood before. Kind of sounds kind of like that, maybe. Cool. Like someone's chopping wood, making firewood. Maybe. Wood splitting. Someone chopping down a tree at night. Doesn't sound that scary though. Yeah. You still kind of trailing on that with your keen Almir ears. Um, it's. Over in the direction of the meat, cu- the meat curing shed. Oh. Mm. Is that shed ours or? Below? It is your shed. Okay. Oh. It is part of the Our establishment. That came yeah. So Mallory oh, so was just out there. Correct. Uh, All right. Well, let's go. I mean, someone's really in the meat curing shed. Something in the meat curing shed. Oh yes, we wouldn't want anyone to disturb Mallory's artwork in there. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go shed. first? Okay. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> You get the next one. <laughs> cool. I don't want to go up and like, yeah. I'm just gonna like shield up and then go and like open the door. Okay. As you approach and you kind of you go for the the keys on your side because as you know, for an establishment where the food is your business, and you're not keeping somebody on watch because that'd be ridiculous for the small clientele you have. Um, the shed is kept chained and has a lock on it. You approach, you can see the chains are just on the ground, oh. and the lock is broken. Someone's and the stealing on me! <gasps> door is slightly it ajar. Is. And you can now hear louder. It is definitely the sound of something impacting and splitting wood. Mallory, just a quick check. Any uh, any chance you were just very sloppy the last time you came out here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> All right. Well, as part of this conversation, I'd like you both to make stealth checks, please, as you're having this careful conversation uh, in f- fair proximity to the source of this noise. Four. Oh wow. Well. Mallory. Twenty. <laughs> oh no. Yes. <laughs> so four and twenty. The uh, uh, restaurant. Carry on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> the sound stops. Ew. On the count of three, we open it. Mm-hmm. One, two. I open on two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it hurt. I don't know. <clears throat> you open the shed, and it's like it's a sizable shed for a lot of the storage that's done in here. Um, you see the the hanging hams and hemlocks and various other pieces of, of curing and salted meats, and some of them have kind of been placed off to the side towards the back, hiding up against the wall. Uh, you see a shadowy figure currently clutching to their chest what looks to be your pickaxe, which is you keep in the nearby tool shed, um, and the back wood of the, the back end of the inside of the shed is currently partially broken and busted through. The minute you kind of take in this scene, the figure kind of notices you making eye contact and goes, ah, stupid sweat, and drops the pickaxe and immediately goes for something beneath the cloak. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh. This What's is happening? so hard to run a business. <laughs> <laughs> Why all the terrible rolls today? Oh my god. Woof. So 25 to 20. 
20 to 15. <laughs> 15 to 10. 11. Oh, good to 10. Okay. Uh, who has the higher decks of the two of you? Uh, plus one. Or uh, 12. Uh, 12 also. <laughs> you guys get to pick who goes first? You can go first. Thanks. I'll support. All right. So Vima, <laughs> then Hua. Killing it. Killing it. <laughs> then Slaughter. All righty. Uh, 10 to 5. Four. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Mallory and Grell. So, as soon as this door opens, the figure shouts that curse into their breath and leaps out towards you with what little bit of moonlight's coming through. You just see a hood and cloak and a flash of kind of dirty red hair. Um, as the figure darts towards you, and then suddenly <gasps> is gone. What's your, armor, what's your armor class? Huh? What's your armor class? 16. 16? You feel something impact the back of your armor and try and slip through the plates, and you spin around and feel it scrape off to the side as the individual seems to have vanished from sight and appeared behind you mysteriously. The rest of you who are like getting ready for this, you see this of darkened smoke, and the cloaked figure that was previously in your establishment appears and is attempting to stab uh, Tavima in the back. However, you pull back and knock the blade out of the way, at which point the figure turns and looks and sees all the rest of you right there and says, Spike! <laughs> and that's going to go ahead and finish her turn. This, uh, this was the surly woman? Correct. Yeah. Oh! Ah. <sighs> yep. She did Should have given her some pork. She did tip. <laughs> She's yeah. fine by me. I'm, I, I say we would. Maybe we shouldn't have made her tip. <laughs> uh, all right, and actually, you know, as part of return, the bonus action is going to go ahead and it's going to mark you. <gasps> Me? What? Yeah. But it's because you're so annoying. Yep. <laughs> uh, finishing uh, I mean, their turn. I'm way. courteous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to bring us to Tavima. You're up. Uh, I see her uh, mark slaughter, and I go, "Okay, same." And I would like to use. Uh, Sunfire. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Sunfire. So I'm gonna spend two Magicka to blast an enemy with. Uh, wait, no, hold on. No, sorry. I want to use uh, Backlash. Backlash. Got yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, an expanding beam of sunlight to doom an enemy. And she has to make a DC 15 con save. You've got it. Uh, that is gonna be a fail with a 14. Yes. Okay. Okay. And Hua, you're on deck. Nice. Uh, four points of fire damage, and they're doomed until the end of their next turn. You've got it. And while they're doomed, you deal an additional bit of damage, so when you hit them, great. So that's your bonus action. So can I attack with my... You can. Oh, tight. So I'm going to attack with my longsword. Let's do it. Nope. 12? 12. They're quick. And while the this flash of light hits them, and you can see this kind of like faint, tingling burn that is now curling around their shoulders and like trying to pat it out, they see you swing towards, and they and pull back and just kind of duck out of the way. Woof, it just misses the face by inches, and you can see now that that feral energy is they're beginning to feel momentarily surrounded by the rest of you. Um, but no, that does not hit, unfortunately. I'm dead. Okay, finish your turn. All right, Hua, you're up, and Slaughter, you're on deck. Is anyone within five feet of the enemy? Are we all within five feet? Uh, I'd say I'd say no. The only person who's directly within five feet would be Tavima. Mmm, so I want to hit you. Okay. Yeah, live your dreams. <laughs> I'll do a, an easy thing. I reach behind my cape, and you see my eyes turn blank white. Ooh. No one hurts my friends! And I pull out my ice staff, and I go for a melee attack. Go for it. That's going to be... Uh, 14 plus 3 is uh, 17. 17 will hit. Go ahead Excellent. and roll damage on that. All right, that's the thing. She didn't actually hurt me, but go off. <laughs> Maybe she hurt your feelings, I don't know. That is important. Uh, oh, goodness, that is an 8 plus 8. That's a 16. And I'm going to use my uh, bonus action as an expert hunter to use one stamina and add one DT 10 damage. So that's... Slick. Uh, yes, it's 18 plus, so where's my D10? Come here. Uh, five. Great. Oh, yeah. So it's a... Uh, 16 plus five is 21 total damage. Whew. All right, so out of nowhere, the the extremely socially engaged hostess, which up to this point of mostly a business relationship, seems to just 
with absolute anger, mark this at this this antagonistic force that showed up and with a resounding crack upsides her in this in the, the temple. And for a moment you watch the back foot begin to give as she begins to stumble and then catches herself, almost losing a sword, and then props back up into space, looks back over the shoulder, and kind of growls towards you. Ooh. 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 Alrighty. Does that finish your turn? Yes. You got it. That brings us to Slaughter. Mallory, you're on deck. Uh, I, I I call out to the figure. I you had a you had a quick meal, but you forgot dessert. And I, <laughs> and I will pull out a skull from my belt. Slaughter. <laughs> <Water. laughs> um, and I will use one magicka to infuse it with magical fire, and I will go. I'll throw I'll throw the skull at at, at our. At our patron. Go for it. The patron looks at you, like growling, looks towards you, and goes, What? Uh, I Fries! Think I roll to hit uh, with spell casting. 12 to hit? 12 does not hit. Ooh. Surprise as they may be, she <laughs> sidesteps, and the skull just swings by, glancing off of your shield with like a magical spark. <laughs> And rolls to the ground a few feet away. Does does it come back? It does. It returns to my hand. <laughs> yes. Oh no! On a success, it returns to my hand. <laughs> I don't know what happens on a fail. It's just it's rolled away. You have to go retrieve it now. Oh, I need that. Slaughter, do you want me to? Do you want me to? I'm sorry. Do you want me to? Can you? Can you? <laughs> yeah. Just um, slowly leave it down. I guess that's my turn. <laughs> Although you're you, who's up next? Do you? Do I look? Does Mallory? Do you have like things to chop or cut with, or are you? I have a stick. You have a stick, <laughs> yeah. but you're more of a magic thing. But I'm. I have a stick. I'm gonna hit him with a stick. You're gonna hit him with a stick? Yeah. All right. Sure. I will. <laughs> I will use as a bonus action, hungry scythe, where I can uh, infuse a melee weapon with necrotic energy. Ooh. So I will do that. On. on I'll just point at your stick and go. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents messed you up, man. <laughs> I'm eager to serve. They really did a number on you. That's it. That's All right, Mallory, you're up. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast a crystal weapon on my now infused staff. All righty. And I'm going to take a swing. Go for it. Ooh, 19 to hit. That'll definitely hit. So that's, uh, I should have probably put the correct dice aside. Uh, that's, uh, what did you give an extra? Uh, I think I read it wrong. I, it doesn't do anything to your weapon, it just heals me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's well still done. cool. It's glowing purple and black. It heals you and heals uh, you. That's, that's awesome. Yep. <laughs> that's seven damage. Seven damage, you got it. And uh, I wasn't hurt, but I feel great. <laughs> That's uh, their AC is down by two. Indeed. Until my next turn, so. You got it. So as, as you arc towards it, the staff turning this like rocky, jagged crystal outside, you spin it, you watch this purplish necrotic energy almost like screaming through the air. As you swing it wide, it impacts. Ooh, that's a tingle. A little beat golf <laughs> shot. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get me into? Sorry. <laughs> Does that finish your turn, man? Yeah, that's everything. Alrighty, with that brings up to Grelnock. Your turn. I'm gonna strike out right away with a venomous claw straight at her face. Ooh. Out of the gate, out okay. Out of the gate, going for it. Oh. Go for it. What do I what do I what do I roll? What do I roll? What do I do? What do I do? What a world, what a world. Is that uh yeah, I had my modifier, my weapon modifier? Yeah, proficiency in your strength, which would be plus five total. Okay. Nope. Oh wait, proficiency. Nope. The AC is lower, so you never. What'd know. you roll? Uh, nine. Nine. As you angrily streak outward, just putting all of your fury into this claw strike, uh, this 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 woman, this this roguish figure who has been bludgeoned back and forth a bit, now ducks low, and the shadows seem to almost gather and coalesce for a second as you swing outward. Suddenly, she's just not there where you thought she was, and she's ducked out of the way in an instant. I'm going to keep using my momentum and spin all the way around and bring my axe around and swing low, like where it seemed like she ducked. Go for it. Take the axe out. All right. Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> Ten! <laughs> That's the plan, honey. God 
Um, no. All right. So now yeah, that misses. Cool. That's all I got. All righty. Finishing your turn Whoa. at the top of the round now. The rogue once more kind of shakes her head up and goes like, ah, this isn't how it's supposed to go. First, let's see if this comes back. I don't want to roll anything because it's going to roll well when I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to turn, All of these are... turn instead towards you who got the heavy hit as well. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and bonus action mark you instead. It goes, we're going to dance. And it's going to go ahead and go for a multi attack against you. I really love dancing. My eyes kind of flip back for a second. Dance is really wonderful. <laughs> right as you get to the end of that, dance is really wonderful. It was like one, or sorry, two, natural 20. Uh, so that's a natural 20 hit with a short sword and a 10 with a dagger. Does the 10 hit? Uh, oh, 10 does not hit. Okay. But you do take. Plus an additional. 14 points of slashing damage from the crit, plus the additional damage for being marked by this figure. She is intent and furious. And at, after doing that strike, sees that you're not going down, she is surrounded and is. <sighs> is going to go ahead and try and start backing up towards the shed once more, and begins gl glancing towards the back wall where the damage has been impacted. Um, that would put her within melee to youth four, actually. So all of you do get an attack of opportunity as she begins to dart towards the back of the shed. Do I get one? Yeah, all, all of you who wish to take it gets a... Four meaning me or what? No, sorry. The four who made melee attacks. You, you threw the skull from a distance. I did. Was it? 18. That hits? Yes. Eight points. Laura Girl! <laughs> I think it's because I've got my jester dice okay, out, and they're is. like, "Don't." They don't like yeah, this no. character. I know. I don't, want her, I don't belong here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Should have gotten a whole. Wow. Of you get one hit. Yeah. Eight points of piercing damage. Eight points of piercing damage. Oh wait, hold on. I get my two d four, right? Because of. Yeah. Because of backlash. Dope. Uh, add another four to that. How do you want to do this? Yeah! <laughs> Sweet. She goes away and I go, no, no, no. And I was leaning down to pick up uh, Slaughter's skull and I just sort of like slash back and I want to catch her like behind her, like and hamstring her and bring her down okay. and just stand up and step over her as she bleeds out. Here you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't she kill our wall. <laughs> and she's like, ah, trying to crawl forward. Stop moving. What? And the light just goes out. Oh, and I forgot to ball. ask. Should we ask? Oh, we, really we should have asked her yeah. what she was doing in the yeah. wall. Shoot. My parents would have been. They would have said like, "No, you always torture first before oh, like." Right. That's their whole thing. I should have remembered. Can't you like bring her back or something? Isn't that what necromancers do? Oh yeah. Or talk to the dead. I can throw a skull at her. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, you might as well. I'm going to go inspect the damage to my beautiful, beautiful fly. shed. What was she doing in our shed? So pretty dark. Okay. This seems Are like Are you more really like swapping like out all your dice right now? Of course she is. Those are both good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the show. <laughs> Hold the show. Laura has to swap out all of her dice. <laughs> it's entirely on brand. I don't know why you're surprised when I say um, Okay, so it, while, while you all kind of like taking a moment to breathe, your stamina magic come back, you go over and inspect your wonderful shed. And indeed, the back wall, a lot of the wood planks that make up that section of the interior have been splintered and broken back and left the back of the hill behind it that it's built against. Though where you've always expected upon its acquisition was just rock, there is a faint crevasse, there is a broken opening that leads deeper into the hill behind the shed that is now exposed by the damaged wall. It's just a hole in the shed? Like a crack that leads deeper into the hill beyond it. Into the hill? Indeed. Oh. 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 I wow. understand. Hidden cavern. I didn't put thing. this here. Are you sure it's not a secret meat? Uh, <coughs> I'm just coughing blood. Cavern, I need to take a knee. Oh, are you in? Uh, I'm just gonna yeah. take a little shorty short short rest while we you and we heal on short rests. Is that you can you, 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 if you want to take an hour long short rest, you can totally do it. Hour. I don't need the short rest, so I'm gonna slowly clear 
the debris to see if we can get I'm gonna easily help. into this. Okay. I'm looting the body. Okay. Thank you. Go make an investigation check. Yeah. No. Uh, it's a six. Just a six. Just a six. Just okay. A six. Well, we're really uh, this round, aren't we? <laughs> the armor is ruined. The, the 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 last strike that you gave just carved through the leather plates, and it is you know aside from like maybe some some visual perspective, it's not going to give any additional protection to anybody, anything more than what you already have at the very least. Um, there is a short sword and dagger that they were carrying. You can pocket those if you'd I'll like. The dagger. Um, there's a set of thieves' tools. Ooh. Thieves' tools. Yeah. Uh. The only other thing you find <laughs> with that roll, um, <laughs> it's okay, is a, a crumpled, somewhat stained note that you see tucked into one of the belt pouches, along with about 25 gold pieces. Ooh. Uh, I toss the note uh, and I hand the gold to you. <laughs> Better tip. Oh, that's very nice of, of you. I'll, we should split this, though. We should keep it. To oh, we're going to need it for the tax guy. Yes, but that's I, true. It was like a, yes. I was trying to like do a callback yeah. to the. Thank you. Go. Uh, Since I'm laying on the floor the taking my note. Hmm? Oh, it was a note. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back and pick it up. I was gonna say, since I'm laying on the floor taking my wrist, I kind of just go and grab the note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just and I just kind of hold it up. Can someone else read this? I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I toss it to one of y'all. There you go. All right. So as you were cleaning the debris, you're taking a short rest. Everybody who wants to, who needs to, you can use your. I was your... hoping to clean the debris, so this should really be slower. Oh, okay. I'll read the note, I guess. Okay. Is it in a language I can comprehend? <laughs> yes, it is. Excellent. Uh, in the common tongue here, it reads, Scout if you lack the brass, but payment in full awaits should you find what lies at the heart of the ruin. My searches point to one of the disparate hills in Grotwood, likely forgotten. Seek a masked entrance, and be wary of daedric dangers or unwanted interests. Locations such as these are generally meant to keep something out or something within. And it's signed, Lyranth. Lyranth. So, me, Sam Regal, knowing all the Elder Scrolls Online lore, mm -hmm. do I recognize any of those names? Not at all. Not in this. Cool, 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 cool. Just, even if I did know the Elder Scrolls but Online you, lore? You might have, but. Okay. Cool. Sam Regal and the character you portray in this have no idea who that is. Cool, cool, cool. Who's Derek Danger? Does anyone know that, that name? It sounds right. <laughs> <familiar. laughs> I relay this all to my business partners and colleagues. Does it say the actual amount? The amount that they would get if they succeed? Yeah. I turn it over. Any amounts? No amounts on this note, no. I assume it's more than 300 gold, though. Who's it signed by? Derek Danger? <laughs> no, I don't know. Lyrinth. Lyrinth. Ly 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 I wrote it down and yeah, everything. Lyrinth, yeah. Does it look, like looking at the signature, I kind of like peek over Slaughter's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Does it look at all like the Watch signature? Out, my shoulder's really pointy. It's very pointy. I put myself a little bit on your shoe. Yeah. <laughs> like just yeah, so ow. When I, when I, like when I'm using my pen to write down notes and stuff, I just put it up here. Like I can just stick it on a bill <laughs> like whenever I want. Does that mean every time you make contact with a patron, there's like, like spines, so it's just oh, ow? God. Oh, I didn't think about that, but yes, ow. yes. I've got needles all over my yeah. body. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, you're good. <laughs> uh, does it look at all like the signature uh, from the official documents from that awful elf that we saw earlier? Uh, make an intelligence check. If you don't oh, mind. no. Why do we have to make a roll about it? <laughs> uh, no, uh, eight. Eight? eight. Okay. Um, I mean, the handwriting is fairly good. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like as fancy and presentary as that note, maybe. You don't recognize or can't really find any through line to it, but it, it's nice handwriting. Cool. Cursive is a lost art. It really is. I'll keep, I'll keep the note for later. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We've got to stop, start putting orders on you. <laughs> you know, did you check a boots? Oh. There's always money in the boots. Oh. I go back and yank off the boots. Okay. Uh, you do find 45 additional gold pieces. Shut oh, up! You're a genius. Do they, does she have a clay pot? I usually find something in the clay <laughs> pot. <laughs> Sorry. Does anyone want boots? The only joke I have. Do we need it? Does she have better boots than us? Yeah. Uh, her boots are pretty slick. For four, four is, it's interesting. For as dirty as she presented herself from the exterior, yeah. the actual like interior, the cloak, the armor, the weapons, very well made. 
definitely putting on a an appearance. I'm pretty tall. My feet are pretty big. You should just try them on. Just they don't. They don't okay. fit. Do they fit you? I don't. Nah, nah. <gasps> Do you want to well, try the boots on? I'm still laying on the ground, bleeding a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, yeah, I just lift my leg up and just. Um, like... <laughs> these are very nice boots, which to me it seems seems to mean that she was hiding her appearance. Perhaps she was a, a rich person in pauper's clothing for a reason. Um, I don't know what that reason is, but maybe she's hiding something. Yeah. And there's probably gold in the hills. Take a nap. <laughs> oh. She went to sleep. I'm just going to put the boot on her. She'll yeah. be happy when she wakes up with the Yeah. Boot. yeah good good. I just want you all to know, I'm rusty. We've been in that bar for a while. Obviously, I'm a much better fighter than what you just saw. You're a fantastic barkeep. Yeah. You make an amazing drink. I've never heard anyone come into our establishment and order something that you did not know how to make without even looking it up. You're incredible. Well, why like why do you also have to be an amazing fighter? You're a great bartender. Uh, okay, I like where that started, but like, if you want to also be a good fighter, how about this? The next time I have to fight someone and like bounce them out, I'll go behind the bar and you can do the murder part. Thank you just you. keep it up. Just, yeah. Funny. Thank you. Gotta stay loose. Yeah. But what you said too. Both things. Yeah. By the way, I, I don't know any of those drinks. Literally make them up every time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you not know that? No, I've been, I get lots of questions about the drinks and I tell them that they're wrong, that they've been taught wrong. Good job. You've made a liar of me. <laughs> that's why I get terrible tips. I'm lying to the customers that's, all the time. That's not why you get terrible tips. <sighs> I'm gonna go just close up the, If we're, it seems like we're going into this creepy tunnel, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go close up the restaurant take out my towel and just sort of <laughs> wipe down the tables and just make sure all the doors are shut nicely. And you got it. After I'm done with all that, I just kind of look into the dark restaurant and say, we'll be back. Aww. We'll be back. Aw, slaughter. <laughs> some of us, some of us will be back. <laughs> Sorry. I like your confidence. Um, all right, Not while, while you're doing all that and you're all getting yourself arranged for whatever this mystery is, um, begin kind of pulling apart and opening the space to get a little more traversable. You finish you taking your short rest, you can go ahead and use your um, hit dice to do some healing if you'd like. I did that, I All right. got my healing a little bit. I'm 16 out of 21 now, it's fine. There you go, you're I'll fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to restore our magica and stamina? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Elder yes. Your, 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 stamina. <laughs> your stamina and my your magica. And my magica. My stamina. Dang it! <laughs> they restore. Ruined everyone now. When you have a moment to get a breath, yeah. After combat, you got it. We play Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You gather yourselves. Anything else you want to do? Uh. I think I got bored waiting for Hua to wake up and I'm just like shaving little bits. I'm trying to subtly shave little bits of pork. You don't while Mallory's not licking. You don't have to be subtle. I pull out, just start carving off some jerky. Oh, thank you. There's also some cheese sitting in the corner. I also use this as a cheese house. Thank you. So. I wake up, I'm covered in bits of cheese and pork because I I'm laying there. For you. <laughs> some nice boots too. I'm just, and I'm nicer boots and I'm just like, Oh, a feast! Great. Okay. Uh, are we, are we going into. The, am I carrying this for us? Then are these snacks? What are these trip snacks? Just put them in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and with that final hit, <laughs> the wood cracks back, and you can see now this. You can probably fit one at a time with this entrance, with a, a narrow squeeze, especially for the taller of you. But um, it, there is already kind of even just this bit of, of an odd warm. Air emitting from the interior. What's it smell like? Make a perception check. 
<laughs> okay, I'll roll. I'll roll a dice. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on over there? <laughs> I rolled a five. No. I rolled a two and added three, four, or five. <laughs> oh, and oh, allergies! I take it you can't really smell anything. <laughs> Shake it off the dust. Shake it off. Weirdly, like like the physical action of, of striking this, you know, the adrenaline gets pumping, and like sometimes your sinuses just begin to swell up a bit, <laughs> and so you're a little clogged and congested, and not get much of a smell. Cool. Cool, Sorry. Cool, 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 cool. I feel like this does possibly put another vote in for the dirty, the, the dirty hole. So the dirty hole yeah. is the name of our establishment. Yes. It, it does kind of. It, it was are. dingy hole, but dingy hole. Yeah. The dirty hole's pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is where my brain goes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a pit now. We do. We have our own pit. Yeah. Who's first? Oh, the dirty pit. That's a good one too. Ooh. I take out a piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> keep, we should keep track. I'll go. I'll go in. I'll go first. Yeah. You're first. I'll duck through. Okay. Are you sure? Because the rolling. <laughs> you know what? If something takes me, I deserve it yep, at this point. It. I'll go next. All right. Okay. Uh, one by one, you all slowly begin to step within the dark, mysterious, unknown crack in the hill that descends within the earth below. As the camera kind of pans past to see the gourd body that's been left out in the open, unhidden. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, it was you. That's fine. That was in the shed. It's our shed. It's our corpse. Well, should we at least dress it up like it's a piece of meat that, or that's oh, God. I mean, we should make sure oh, it's in the shed. That. It's in the shed, right? It is in the shed. What, do you want to bring it in the hole? I'll gum, come back out of the crowd and just drag it into the... There you go. Yeah. Look. Oh. Wedge it in there. All righty. <laughs> Um, we should shut the shed. Make sure the shed is shut. Oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Shut should I lock us in? Here. Is that no, weird? No, just close the door. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. You begin to squeeze through the cracks, and the opening descends further and further to meet with a wider tunnel. Odd, ancient architecture carved somewhere between rock and root. Simple at times, but detailed and otherworldly. At others, there's something strange and unfamiliar about the space you've wandered into. Uh, you can see this kind of arched, stone-carved ceiling aperture above you. You can see faint details, and even the, the, the natural cavern floor here at times seems to have a smoothed, uh, intentionally set pattern to it. To the left, a ways up, uh, you can see there's a double door and to the right, it continues to spiral subtly downward and out of sight, beyond the wall. Well, there's doors, or we go darker down down this darker hole area here. What seems safest? Do, do we have any sort of torches or anything? Candles? Oh, did we grab any of that from the... I didn't <laughs> bring any candles. Hold on, oh, I'll run back to that. You run back. <laughs> Run back to the tavern and grab us some of our lanterns. <laughs> okay. Come running. Back. As you run back, you get the lanterns on, and now you see the wonderful architecture <laughs> yeah. in front of you in detail. Oh, uh, we missed it the first time. Two of you, you can decide, can make either history or religion checks as you get more detailed glances at the interior of this walkway. Anyone? Any, any of us good at anything? I mean, I'll do a history you guys check. Can do it. I'll do a religion check. Alrighty, two of you. I'll admire the architecture. <laughs> With G oh, money. Like, 16, 17, 18 total. 18. <laughs> Ionian. 16, Ionian. great. Corinthian. <laughs> Fine Corinthian leather. <laughs> elements of the columns and shapes of the interior and the iconography that you can occasionally see carved in elements uh, give you the, the sense that some of this is intentionally or alluding to something beyond Nirn. Certainly Daedric in nature. Something that whispers of the void of oblivion and other darker spaces beyond the natural world. Um, this is some really spooky stuff down here. Uh, I, we, where we are heading, um, maybe Slaughter's family might know something about it. It, just, it seems like there are dark powers at work here. So if we want to continue for the money to keep the tavern alive, we, we should do so, but there will probably be peril, I think. I like peril. If it's between mm. this and the tax collector, I'm, I'm okay with this. 
I'm, I'm, we're partners in this establishment and we do things together. So yes, I'm with you. Mm. Okay, let us go forward then. Mm -hmm. Light the way. How, <laughs> there were doors. How big are these doors? Uh, these are about 20 feet tall and roughly nine to 10 feet wide and it's double door set. Ooh. So total about almost 20 feet tall, 20 feet wide between the two of them. A heavy, heavy kind of lock mechanism across the front of it. What if what? we took these from here and put them at the front of the dingy hole? <gasps> Upgrade. That would really class the place up. Right? Yeah. They're beautiful but scary. And, and I we guess could call it the double scary. door. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's not very good. I <laughs> can I see any kind of lock that you can is it open? Is it? Can we unlock it? Uh, you do see what looks to be two heavy, almost metallic set handles, uh, brass in coloration, like a full foot top to bottom bolted into each side. Um, you go and give a tug. Mm. Not moving. Solid in place. Make a strength check if you'd Lock. like. Let's go. You want to help out? Yeah. All right, so take away the vantage or you both roll independently. All you. <laughs> I know never, what I said. Have I said it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. Twelve. Twelve. Best roll of the night. It is my <laughs> It is though. That's good. It's, it's trending upward. Mm -hmm. um, they do not budge. <laughs> not a single bit of movement. No sounds. No creak. No scrape. They are solid. Does it look like there's a locket, like a like a lock mechanism anywhere on it? You can make an investigation check. For oh, that. why? Because <laughs> that's what you were requesting. Three. Wow. Hey, look, uh, both of us are, pretty are doing pretty shit. We're doing great. <laughs> I just throw the thieves' tools at Mallory. Like I don't know. Just <laughs> do something. I'm not. You, you're you're better with tools than I. I assume. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at this lock. See if I can figure out anything about it. Are you attempting to, to inspect it, or are you attempting to unlock it? I'm going to try and unlock it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll a dexterity check. Are you proficient with there's these There's no tools? lock. Um, yeah, there's not even, there's no there a lock? lock? There's, um, no, <laughs> I'm not very proficient. careful. <laughs> so roll, just roll and make a dexterity check. There's nothing. Here's my question to you. Do you think like you would be proficient in thieves' tools? No. Then no, then you just roll a dexterity check. Well, you're a cook. You got like knife skills? Knife hand. What are lock How picks but tiny spatulas <laughs> for a lock? Mm -hmm. Bad point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 17. 17. You do begin to see facets <laughs> of the door that have a locking me mechanism ingrained within it. And you begin to f to fiddle with these tools that you are assuming would be functional in this, and you feel pretty confident in your ability to kind of manipulate the interior of this lock. You hear a click, <gasps> and the second click, and then it sticks. You feel like you're close, but it didn't quite didn't quite. It's a very very tough lock. I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I don't know if I could take this any further. I'm not sure. Do we need a key? <laughs> Maybe. There, oh, sorry, no, no, I was just going to say, is there anything else around the room? Any other markings or? or? Aside from just the interesting architecture, not much in this walkway other than just the other path that continues to curve. There is another path. Though. Yeah, maybe we just try the other path. Maybe, maybe we we'll find circle a, back. a key over there or someone okay. will just have dropped it somewhere really noticeable. <laughs> am I just going to leave these lock picks in or am I going to give it one more? Not, push? You keep trying and I'm just on the other like door handle. Just, just shit. Ah! <laughs> I'll take one more stab. All right, do the disadvantage. Oh, okay, that's. Yeah. Yolo. I inspire you. You're part way through here. You're part way through, but huh? disadvantage. Yes. Uh, uh nineteen. Oh, 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 oh. I rolled an eighteen and a twenty. <gasps> oh. Damn. Okay. I, hey, dice. You can roll that high too. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, little. You just gotta want it, buddy. I mean, I'm gonna be kind to you. Look, listen, guys. <laughs> hey, dice. We're, we're grading on a curve here. You really. Hold on. Which is better, my no, intimidation wrong. or my persuasion? <laughs> Listen, you little bitches. 
<laughs> so okay. as you've fiddled with lockpicks once or twice in your past, long, long ago, an old past you'd like to forget, um, mm. and it's not so much the lockpicks as much as this is a very large locking mechanism, an old one, it seems, um, and as you begin to see it and why it's caught, it's not because the lockpicks aren't getting there, it's because it's just a very detailed, intricate lock, and there's just enough room for a finger to get in there. A, a terrible idea. A terrible idea, but you see a tiny hook on the inside that you think seems to be connected. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, of course. What are you going to do? <laughs> Not do chop. it? Of course you're going to do it. Do I have anything I can use for what this? What about that sausage? One of the sausages. <laughs> what yeah, about the do you have some cured meat? Waiter next to you. So I'm going to try and wrap some cured meat around it in a little, in a, and use that <laughs> as a <Yeah>. pull. <laughs> because you are a cook and you are an experienced handler of cured meats. Uh, yeah, yeah, you rolled high on lockpick, sure. Um, the, the meat begins to give ever so slightly, and you get nervous. The beads of sweat dripping down your forehead as everyone's tense, looking forward. The dust is in your nostrils, and you're shaking and shaking, and you pull, and you feel it splitting, splitting, but just enough tension for that little metal hook to go, and as it does, the doors open and reveal a wide staircase that descends further and deeper down beneath the hill. Bacon. <laughs> something, something ham-fisted. It was a really oh. good idea to bring all of this extra meat with us. Yeah. <laughs> I take a little. Ooh, eat the lock meat? You know why? You know why? Because you waited until it was pork o'clock, you know? Oh. You waited until it was, it was, the, it was the time. It's got to be good. It has to have time. Yep. <laughs> Um, so we're going down there. We're not going to go down the other windy. Well, I mean, path? I feel like we should still at least see what, like, give our little peeksies around the corner and see what it is. Good call. Eh? All right, I'll give a little peeksies around the windy path. On the windy path. Okay. It continues to spiral down. Uh, you're not quite sure how far it can go. Do you continue to follow it? Bend your vision. I'll go like <laughs> a little bit further, like 20 more feet. Okay. You continue to curve around that way, and you see it begin to open into a, like a subterranean chasm space. There is what looks to be about a 25, 30 foot wide break where beneath the hill, you start getting into this like dense, dense bedrock period, and there is just a wide chasm that carves through, maybe about 30 feet high up from you and 70 or so feet down. With just your lantern light, you have no idea how deep that chasm is, and it looks like there is or was at one point some sort of a stone land bridge between here and the opposite wall in which there is a slight shelf and another opening that continues onward, but whatever there was that connected these two has crumbled beneath. All right. But it could be traversable with a little bit of ingenuity. I'll go back and tell the others. There's like a big, like, cave with a drop. It was a bridge that broke. I say we take the stairs. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I mean, they had these, these doors, they're locked. It seems important. This is the way to go. What? Yeah? Yeah, he would lock up a treasure. He wouldn't. Yes, he would lock up a treasure. Absolutely. He would just put it at the end of a cave. Yeah. Plus, I don't think any of us can jump super far, right? We're not so. very good at anything. No. <laughs> How We're restaurant tours. Right behind the bar the whole time. Right? In our shed. It's very coincidental that we need money and we found it right away. But also, could be a selling point. True. You know, like uh, come, come, come to the dirty hole, and if you spend a certain amount, you get a quick tour of the <gasps> oh, like an escape dirty room hole. thing. An escape room is yeah. a great idea. It's yeah. like a theme restaurant <laughs> now. <laughs> On board I love it. with this. This is very good. I like it. And now it Themed makes menu. sense to call it the, the dingy, dingy hole. hole. Yeah, really. <gasps> it's a theme restaurant. Well, it's not. Okay, it doesn't have to be dingy. We can make it really nice in here. Put no, I lights like up, and it could be like. The, okay. the glory hole? <laughs> <laughs> a really nice hole? A really nice hole. A really nice hole. <laughs> Come to our really nice hole. Take a look. That sounds better than Dinchy to me. Take a look at our really nice hole. <laughs> it's nice and exciting, and you must escape from it. 
<laughs> We're still workshopping. Yeah. We're still workshopping. Yeah. I write it down. Walk. I write it down. <laughs> <laughs> we move into the room. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these stone stairs begin to descend. They're, they're the same width as the as the entryway. So you have twenty foot wide stone steps that just descend further into darkness. Uh, who's going first? What is the marching order for this? Go first. Do we have a? I'll go first. Again. Okay. First. Sure. Okay. Are you sure. feeling confident? <laughs> Always. Maybe. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna I'll, keep I'll, uh, I'll, an eye out for any traps on the ground. How's how's your dark vision? It's good. All right. I'll also join then. Where does it say that? <laughs> Bottom left. Oh, I guess I don't have it then. <laughs> Same. Oh, I have dark vision. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. I'll bring up the rear. All righty. I like so you're keeping an eye out mm. uh, for shrimps. Perception or investigation, your choice. Fifteen. <laughs> hey. Yay! Yeah. Alrighty. So <laughs> the stairs continue down fifty, sixty or so feet before evening out to an archway. This standing 15, 20 or so foot tall space uh, comes to a gradual point, and then it opens up into a wider hall beyond. As you're all kind of stepping forward, you glance down, looking at the floor, and right beyond the archway, there is a faint smear of long, dried blood that is just faintly visible on the stones beyond. Hey, oh, we got blood. New? Old. Is it wine blood or just normal? Mm. Uh, it's still wet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> normal. It's normal blood. That's weird. Can I do a nature check to see what kind of creature's blood it is? Ooh. Yes, you may. Ooh. Yes, right? All right. Oh, that's very good. Uh, 17 plus four. It's like a 21. Nice. Human, humanoid. Mm. Some sort of humanoid blend. Is it a bird? Um, it, No, it's not a bird. That would be terrible. It's actually a person that's oh, down here. Oh. A human. I, I quite oh. like birds. Uh, but that means that someone is here, has, has beat us to this area? How is that possible? We just discovered the hole into this Place. Maybe they came up from the other tunnel. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But they would have had to open. If they just live here. Mm. Or they came or from they around the back. Here. Maybe they just live here. Mm. Yeah. Or there's multiple entrances, we don't know. Or they have the key to this door. Key. What's up with this smear? Is it just across and then stops? Does it like trail off in a direction? Yeah. Uh, well, as you kind of, you, because you rolled pretty high, the smear is your first Glance, and as you all kind of inspect and kind of do your your moment of, of checking in on it, the group is about to move forward, and instinctually you kind of put your hands out, and you realize the smear continues on beyond the archway to the wall on the side, where you see there is against the stone wall an impacted <gasps> crater, cracked, where the stone is broken, and there is a crushed body <laughs> that is just completely inverted and bloodied and ruined, oh. pushed into a long. Probably multiple impacted indent. Oof. You do not see what did it, <laughs> but the blood trail continues and spatters across. If I look up, does it look like a pendulum would have swung and crushed something? Like you glance up in the other space and put the lantern up, and you can see there is a chain affixed to the wall above, and on the opposite end, there is a massive rock about four feet across that is currently just ratcheted and ready to go. And glancing down at where that blood smear is, you now glance and see the, the stonework right beyond the arch for about two feet. It's just ever so slightly raised against the surrounding stone. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Not step on this. Yep. At Is this point, you also hear a grinding this? sound. Oh, oh. Behind where you came. The door. The doors. doors. That's how. It's an escape that room. That makes sense. <laughs> it's an escape room. We already have one. We this already is did exciting. it. This is super cool. cool. We're gonna have to do a lot of insurance paperwork. <laughs> At least it's already set up, and that's really nice. Yeah. You know, not too much renovation. You just make everyone sign a waiver. You can get away with <laughs> okay. anything. There we go. Can I see what looks like a safe? 
place to put our feet? Uh, about two feet beyond that, you hope. Take a little hop. But we have I'm gonna hop. You gonna? You just gonna? Oh, I'm gonna hop, buddy. Oh. All right. Mm-hmm. You watch <laughs> as Grelnod just goes. <laughs> does a little jump over those, the little platform area, and land on the opposite side. Your feet hit the stone, and as they do, nothing happens. Hey, next time we could throw a skull or something. I'm just. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been smart. <laughs> Make a leap. We're fine. All right. I'll run and leap. One by one, you all begin to leap over, make it comfortably to the other side, and kind of dusting yourself off, glancing about this larger chamber that at first glance, it's odd. You, you see signs of, not dungeon, not dingy, trapped torture space, much to your family's chagrin. Um, but just some broken tables and seats, like a common room. There's some stools and shattered dishware on the ground, some bent or broken tools amongst the fallen shale. Like a sealed underground living space left to ruin. There are two corpses dressed in dark, shifty gray leather that are sitting on far ends of the room away from you. Are they old corpses, new corpses? They're ways from you. Do you want to go inspect? Yeah, but keeping an eye out for any trepsies. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, make an investigation check. Or perception, your choice. Can I assist? If you'd like to. Leave it you. Oh, right, I'm just going to roll my... Okay, give me, okay. Oh! <laughs> They're getting better and better. 21. Hey! Nice! Hey! Do you think it started bad and is getting better and better and Please will don't. go back around again? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you glance forward, you do not see any traps in the pathway to these bodies. And as you approach and kind of pushing past some of the the kind of long, dusted, forgotten signs of life that have since been left still and alone for some time, you approach the bodies and at first glance, they, they're they not smashed by traps. There is what looks to be all manner of slash marks across them, gashes, heavy wounds, and chunks missing, ragged, broken chunks, bitten, pulled off. And as soon as you notice that, the sound catches your ear. (laughs) And you see now, glancing up kind of lantern ahead, in this open room, there are some alcoves set off to the side where some uh, small benches were set once, some shelf space where some books may have once been set that are now been removed. Uh, There are signs that this was once a, a, probably a comfortable subterranean vault-like space, Uh, as well as three doors in this room. There's one on the eastern side away from you and a north side on the left, the south side on the right. But in one of these alcoves on the side, you watch as massive, clawed, leathery hands pull around the corner. The light hits black, pupilless, dark marble-like eyes that glisten against the light as a nine-foot-tall, hulking, crocodile-like humanoid with a long, gnarled snout filled with teeth. (laughs) Looks right at you. And goes into a full run. That's where we're gonna take a break. Oh! No! <laughs> we're gonna jump into this combat here in just a moment. Yee! But in the interim, stay tuned and we'll see what the next half of this story has yeah. to tell about the dingy hole, the dirty hole, the, the dreary, the very, very nice clean, hole. The very nice hole. The very, the, the very nice, very, very good nice hole. hole. There you go. We'll see you guys here in a little bit.
The stories I've read tell of how these lands once thrived. Before the cultists. Before the chaos and fire. Watching these pathetic mortals bores me. Meddling with power, they don't comprehend. This destruction, this plotting and scheming, it must be stopped. A deal has been struck. He is coming. Dagon. Subscribe, or don't subscribe. Hmm. That's not a question. Well, that is nobler in the mind to ponder the pros and more pros of Twitch or Twitch Prime. Or to take hands and gift new subs to critters who find they can't afford them. To play. To sleep. No more. And by asleep to say the cast and crew of Critical Role might find their naps around the hectic schedule of a live broadcast that we have brought for your consumption, both critter and fan alike. To play or sleep. No sleep but just to stream. Aye, there's the rub. For with your subscription, what streams may come. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that is a fucking tagline. Is, do we got that? Oh, that is Twitch poetry. Mm. Oh, anyway, um, subscribe. To critical role. Use Twitch Prime to subscribe. Gift some subscriptions. You, you got it. Hmm. Wrong soliloquy for the skull, but uh, that's fucking good. <laughs>
<laughs> and welcome back. <laughs> so, as you all begin to step into this forgotten subterranean common room, and upon inspecting the scattered bodies, a creature seemed to stir. A massive, gator-like, humanoid, daedric beast began to charge towards you, and I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we've had a conversation. No. All right. <gasps> This is being very nice to me today. <laughs> All righty, 25 to 20. 30, 20. Nice! Yeah. All righty. Took him up front. 20 to 15. Me. All righty. 19. 19? Oh, damn. Was right up. 17. Woo! Right. And we got grill. Right. 16 over here. Great. Slaughter. All righty. Uh, 15 to 10. I guess what, what, what do you got? Two. Two. Oh, sorry, Mallory. <laughs> it's very hard to roll a two, let me tell you. I can, yeah. Hardly do worse. <laughs> Alrighty. Top of this, as the creature is now charging forward, <clears throat> its long tail behind it, its like scaled, heavily armored hide, uh, its head seems to end in these like long, crooked horns as its mouth is just open, salivating, fangs, teeth outward towards you. You're up first to be. Nice. Uh, I want to slide forward and like interpose myself uh, between uh, Girl Knock and this bad boy, and then also charge at it uh, and shield charge this bad boy. Hell yeah, let's yeah. do it. Okay. All right. So I'm spending two stamina, and I gotta roll the hit. No, I rolled so bad. Oh. Um, <laughs> ele oh. eleven. Eleven. Hey. No. She, she rolled forward. You rush to go ahead and slam into it, and it's like hitting a wall because <laughs> it's charging full bore towards her. You interpose, and right as you go to hit, instead, whack! It hits you, and you get thrown back about three or four feet. You land on your back, but kick back up. But unfortunately, it didn't seem to leave much of an impact on the creature. Dunk, that's me. All right, finishing uh, Tavira's go. That brings us to Hua, and uh, Girl Knock, you're on deck. Okay, I activate my magicka. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast Swarm. So, uh, it's a range of 60 feet, so I can stay where mm -hmm. I am. Uh, and I spend two magicka to summon a five foot radius swarm of fetcher flies. Remember those guys? Ooh, yeah. uh, they will obey my commands. I'm unsure if this means, this is as your action, you may will them to move and attack anything in the space. Do I summon them first and then I uh, order them the next time, or can I order them now? No, you can order them now. Excellent, I do so. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, the creature must make a DC 14 constitution save throw. You've got it. Let's go. Uh, that is a six, that is a failure. <gasps> yes, they take 46 damage. Go for it. Got them all set up here. Whoosh. There's the flies. One. Swarm over and swarm around this creature, biting, stinging. That is seven damage. Seven damage to it, you've got it. Nice. It is now. <laughs> Blah, clawing around in the middle of this this cloud of swirling fetcher flies. Um, does that finish your turn? Stay put. It's just my turn. I stay in concentration. Fantastic. You got that. Bring that up to Grelnok's turn with uh, Slaughter on deck. How far away is it? Uh, from you, it's about ten feet from you, since uh, you did have an interposed moment with Tavima stopping you. All right, I'm gonna run up behind it. Do I get advantage if I'm flanking? Uh, currently, <laughs> I'll say sure. Why not? All right. Yeah, you have, it'll take your full movement, but you do manage to get in a position where now you and Tavima are kind of pincer attacking Look up, it. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Let's go. You got it. <laughs> um, cool, then I'm going to get behind it and go and try to get it with my venomous claw. Do it, do it. Venom's claw. Spend that stamina venomous move. Claws. Natural one. <laughs> Went back around. Went back around. All right, start all right. it all over again. Woo! Huh? You did this! Yeah, Get I rid did of it. that stamina, as and you, I'm gonna. <laughs> as you go running past, <laughs> claw oh, wait, out. I get advantage! Because you have it flanked, you do. Ooh. Yes! Come on, natural 20. Two. Oh, that's way better! <laughs> <laughs> that's 21! Yeah. That hits! That hits! Oh. Go and roll some damage! Oh. Yeah. yeah, broke the crest, kiddo. Oh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I think it's finally Check coming it up, girl. Now. That's. Poison damage on this. That's really good. 15 plus three is 18 poison damage, Ooh. plus my strength modifier, which is plus three. Slick. Damn. And that's my bonus action. Oh. All right. So after that, I'm gonna whip out my axe and swing at its 
back. <laughs> <laughs> the claw sinks in deep, and as you carve across, you can now see that thick, thick Daedric hide does split, and you watch as the, the black venom left behind from this instilled, forced bit of energy. Oh, oh. what happened? Something flew far. Oh. Just being back oh, with your axe. I said out an eight, but I landed on a twenty on my D twenty. <gasps> wow. There you a go. A two and a twenty. Let's nice. go. Cool. Go for it. Yeah. So that's one D twelve plus three. So it's I just double the dice. Double the dice. Seven times two is fourteen plus three is twenty points. Oh, what? Nice. Still alive. The axe carves through, and it, it, you cut back, and the tail behind it just. <laughs> Oh. Slops off. You sever it from the body, and it hits the ground, and is still kind of like flexing and curling on its own, now detached from the body. I'm gonna use one more stamina, and I'm gonna try to hit it again with my free action. Let's go. Mm. Oh no, that just adds a D8 slashing damage. Correct. That's six additional points. Six additional points of damage. Beefy. It's looking real hurt. Let's go. All right. All right. That finishes your go, Grillnock. That brings us to. Slot. Oh, great. Um, I will uh, I will yell at the creature. Uh, I, you can't have a table here without a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pull out a skull. <laughs> my lucky skull. Give it a little kiss. Say, div, div, be my da, duck. And I'll throw the flaming skull <laughs> at the creature. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll for the attack. Oh, it's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Plus six is ten. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> I forgot to light it on fire first. Of all. Yeah, the skull. It literally is just a skull. It just goes to the air, ting, 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 and just rolls in the ground. No effect. I'm the worst necromancer. <laughs> uh, I will then uh, use the rest of my action to kind of just run around. Are those dead bodies? Do they have any like weapons or anything or? Uh, do you want? Do you want to take your turn trying to trying to look that's, through? That's all I got. I mean, I guess I could sure, do bonus that if you action, want to. but it just heals me. It's up to you. So I'm fine. So I'm just gonna look around those bodies. Okay, you start rummaging through the bodies. Uh, make an investigation check. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Nine. Check some stuff out. Yep. Nine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, one of them you see has a, a long sword on the ground. Uh, and you've seen all different metals, but at first glance, this has like a unique color and texture to it. Not quite something you're familiar with. Grab it. All right. Finishing your turn, Slutter. It is now the Daedroth's turn. No. As it's like <laughs> angrily kind of spinning around now, feeling surrounded. You, Grelnock, pincered in the back, ready, feeling confident after a heavy round, you hear this. Uh -oh. From behind you, uh oh! You one? glance over your shoulder and charging out of one of the alcoves from the direction to the left of where you entered, a second one comes barreling out, <laughs> and is now going to be attacking you, Pincered. Hi, buddy. Um, so this one's going to go ahead and you know what? Yeah, it's going to go ahead and bite attack you. So it goes for a full on. Bring up my axe. Uh, that is going to be a 17 to hit. 17's my armor class. Okay, so that hits you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for I not, like not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, six points of piercing damage. Okay. As it clamps on, but because you got your axe up just in time, it slams, but you wedge it in there to keep it from closing entirely on you, and the blade carves a little bit in the roof of its mouth, which causes it to open wide and pull back, so it doesn't actually clamp onto your body and backs up. The one that's in between the two of you, wounded and kind of on, on one knee almost, looking around angrily, glances with you in front. It glances and sees, I think based on directional-wise, actually, <laughs> I would like to have Hua <laughs> and Mallory both roll d20s for me. Oh, God. Just roll d20 and tell me what you got. Five. Six. Oh, my God! <laughs> it kind of angles its head in a direction to where it's still facing you, but kind of lines up with you, Hua. Oh, no. And it <laughs> <laughs> releases a column of flaming breath <laughs> towards both of you that goes out from 15 foot cone 
Um, I need you both to go ahead and roll dexterity saving throws for me, please. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, that's not very good. Um, it's a three? Four? <laughs> you both take eight points of fire damage. Kills, right? Yeah. Charred a bit from the uh, flames escaping from its jaws. Uh, that eight. finishes their turn, however. <laughs> um, the one, yeah, they're, they're both going to stay put because one of them is currently flanked between two of you, the other one is flanking. So finishing its go, Mallory, you're up with Tavima on deck. Uh, what kind of weapon are you carrying? Shield, sword. Okay, I'm going to run uh, behind you, I'm going to run behind Tavina, and I'm going to tap your, your sword as I run by, and I'm going to cast Crystal Weapon. Okay. Ooh. A blade <laughs> suddenly is wrapped in jagged, dark crystalline power. And then I'm going to keep running and I'm going to see if I can. There's no way to hit both of the. No, so I'm going to have to pick one. How big are these creatures? Uh, they're about roughly 10 foot tall from ground to shoulder, and they're like hunched and bulky. One's almost dead, though. One is looking really, really. Cool. I'm going to put a uh, um, lightning splash sp uh, sphere right above the one that's almost dead. Okay. I'm, I think I can, I can put it. I can put it somewhere where it's not going to hit anybody else because it's ten feet tall. That's a that's a ten foot sphere of lightning. Ten foot sphere of, of lightning, and I can stay kind of far away. I will say, go ahead and roll because it is a very tight space between like this creature. Well, the creature is kind of large. Actually, no, the creature takes a ten foot. Yeah, it is a ten I was, foot. I can also just put it slightly above as well. Correct. So yeah, go ahead and roll damage on that. It makes a save. Uh, that's a save. That's a dex one? Yep. Rolls a 16. Uh, that is a save. So it doesn't take any damage. Um, Rude. Oh. Nope, it, it it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Oh. That's okay, that's just um, you know, that's a couple magical points. I don't care. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to back off quite a bit now, as much as I can. Okay, so now you're getting all the way towards the back wall of this chamber to try and keep away from the middle of the fray. All right, you're done, Mallory. Uh, Tavima, you're up. Sweet. Uh, I'm kind of like waving the crystal sword around, and I make a little like flash of light hit it, and I'm gonna cast back flash on the one right in front of me. Uh, so DC 15 con save. Got it. Uh, that's an eight. That is a failure. Yes. All right. It is now surrounded and cursed by the slowly swelling light around it. Okay, take eight points of fire damage. Great. And you are doomed. And then I'm gonna run forward and be like, Yeah. I'm gonna, does it do any? I'll find out. I'm gonna go and try to hit it with the sword. Roll attack. <laughs> Come you have advantage because you are flanking. Yes, okay. 17 and 15. Uh, 22. That definitely hits. Go and roll damage. Sweet, okay. Uh, eight plus two more D4. How spicy can I be? Can I uh, add a stamina on that to also puncture it? Sure. I would like to super kill this thing if I can. <laughs> this is the hurt one? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so make a DC 14 dexterity check. Uh, no, that's an 11. Sweet. Four, four, eight. 18 points. How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah. nice. Yes. Second of the night. Go. And just slice it across its throat, and I want to like walk all the way around it as it drops to its knees and take the full skull all the way off and just lift it up and go, new skull. <laughs> like, oh, yes, I want. In a second, hold on. What? And I just okay. show it to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the body hits the ground with a heavy thud as you tear the flesh off of its skull, which is now still glistening red ish black with the remnant blood across it, and spin it around to show the other one. <laughs> you next. <laughs> Alrighty, finishes your go, uh, brings it to Hua. With uh, Grel Grelnock on deck. I am pretty bloody and not doing super good, so I'm going to back up uh, approximately as far back as I can get <laughs> okay. from all the creatures. Um, I'm going to kind of wave my hands like this, and a bunch of little mushrooms pop out from my fingertips, sort of making a semicircle around me. These mushrooms are part of the Fungal Growth Magicka spell, so I can uh, get one d4 hit points for every turn for three rounds, um, and anyone who gets into the circle may also do that if they're feeling yucky. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. 
the mushrooms. I'm gonna roll my healing. Begin popping up around you, these beautiful kind of bioluminescent colors, and as it does, you can feel the energy begin to swell through your body, like this excited butterflies in your stomach, and your wounds begin to slowly close. Oof, and then that's the end of my turn because I can, oh the, um, the flies are still there, but they're not gonna attack because I can't I don't have a turn for that. So yeah, it's been good. an action to do that. Yeah. I am gonna use my bonus action to see if I can automatically sense any living creature within a hundred and twenty foot cone. Are there more of these? I'm wondering. <laughs> good call. Uh, any living creature? Yes. You do not sense uh, any more of these creatures. You do sense on the north wall um, a few odd dots. Some, some, something beyond the north wall, there's a cluster that catches your attention. I just yell, let's not open the north door. Uh, I'm going to lay down for a second. <laughs> She's just always napping. <laughs> She's doing a mushroom so lazy. Yeah. Do you heal yourself? <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Great. Uh, yeah. Good All right, that finishes your go. Uh, Grelnock, you're up with Slaughter on deck. I say, Mallory, stuffed mushrooms. Ooh. Oh, we could add that to the menu. <laughs> and I'm going to swing my battle axe Pepper. at the guy. Go for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't get advantage anymore. Uh, no, because you are not, because you killed the creature that was between the two of yeah. you. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's still good. 21. That hits. Go and roll damage. This one is currently unscathed, but not for long. 12 plus three is 15 points 15 of damage. points of damage. And I'm gonna Heavy use throw. one, my last stamina point of the fight to add another D8, which is seven. Nice, heavy hit. The axe, as you swing wide, it doesn't cut through, but it sinks about four or five inches into this creature's kind of like chest armor. <laughs> It grabs the axe with both sides of its like clawed hands and shoves it back. You almost get thrown off balance, but then hold yourself and I'm there. I'm gonna use my uh, bonus action to cast hardened armor on myself to prep for the hit that's gonna come. You got it. Smart. Okay, that finishes your go. Slaughter, you're up. Yes, I slaughter Grim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run up uh, to Tavima and skull me. <laughs> I will take this gigantic skull yeah. and try to set it on fire with my 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 necrotic mind and throw it at the bad guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please work. Look first. <laughs> <laughs> the skull ah. ignites with with deeply dark, burning arcane fire. Um, all right, go ahead and roll to attack with it. Let's go. Uh, it's big, right? I, so I'll, yeah. I'll do like a little, little hammer toss thing, oh, oh. and I'll I'll toss it. Thirteen. Thirteen hits. Hey. Wait. I'm sorry, it does not. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I read the wrong stat. I was gonna uh, say that. Oh my God. Why so I can't hit shit with my skull. I know. <laughs> I know. I thought about just tapping things with it Maybe instead of throwing it, just like <laughs> tap it. Throw it like a bad thrower. <laughs> <laughs> As you swing and go wide, <laughs> it, you are completely off course. It just like goes off and scatters into the corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'll. Uh, really I still clap. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well. Okay, <laughs> that's my move. All right, that brings us to the Daedroth's turn, which it does not get its fire breath back. Oh, no. Oh wait, no, that one died. There's two of them. Damn I know, it. but did the that one use its fire breath? The second one? No, you're right. Thank you for the reminder. Yes. Uh, to that point, it it's going. It does have its fire breath, oh. and it's going to, oh. which is going to catch you and you in the same column in front. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Ten? That's a fail. Eleven? You both take eight points of fire damage. Yeah. Yikes. Feeling singed, burned, carterized. <laughs> I just pat out the fire on there my you go. chest. Badass, awesome. Uh, and with that, it's going to go ahead and begin to like <clears throat> stomp around the side of you. Uh, since I had you both in a calm, it's now going to try and get both of you kind of in the fray to, to give you less opportunities to engage elsewhere in the battlefield. Uh, that finishes its turn. Mallory, you're up. Um, I am going to use my bonus action to use Dark Exchange to get a Magicka back. Oh, nice. Um, 
and I'm going to, actually I don't even have to do that, I'm going to hold off, I don't need that yet. Um, I'm just going to try another lightning splash. Sure. Here. All right. So for that. Lightning splash. Uh, that is a 13. Aha! You know, that hits, go ahead and roll damage. That's uh, 11 points of lightning damage. Great. So as it's like storming around, getting in the fray with Javima and Grelnok, <laughs> there's this flash of light and it's <laughs> cycling blast of electrical energy that shocks the creature. You see its muscles tense up before it <laughs> kind of shakes to try and shrug off the pain and stun sensation across its body. Um, yeah, took a heavy hit. I'm then going to try and shift so that if it so that I'm out of any uh, yeah you're you're fine so I won't yeah I'll shift to just stay out of any straight lines with anybody else just to you've got get it surrounded okay finishing that it's back up to to be Mr. turn <sighs> okay I would like to back up a little bit just mm -hmm. this is a very nice sword but hold on and I want to cast uh, sunfire on it as I kind of like drop the shield get a free hand and just yeah bright light let's do that. You got it. All right, so uh, go ahead and make spell attack against the target. Uh, 19. 19 hits. Sweet. Mm. Uh, 16 points Woo. of damage. fire damage. Ooh. Nice, 16 points of fire damage to it. All right, it's looking pretty hurt. Cool. Starting to show um, some real wear and tear. I... Yeah, we burned the last Magicka. Um, I'm going to cast Backlash again on this one. Okay. You got it. So, a DC 15 con save. Come on. Does not make it with a seven. Yes. Okay. Uh, another eight points of fire damage. Oh, you got it. Already. It's now like burning and charring. The backlash is now searing into it as the kind of it's now doomed by the perpetual spread of kind of divine almost light that's burning into its flesh. It's angry and it looks like it's starting to turn even more feral than it may have been before. Why are you still alive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you right next to it or did you back up? Uh, I backed up a little. Okay. Bit. Okay. Finishing your go. Why well, you're up? I'm gonna stay where I am and heal for, oh, that's eight, nice, nice, nice. But <laughs> while I'm, because I can just stand there, I don't have to do anything to heal. Mm -hmm. My mushrooms are active. For one more round, if anyone wants to join me. Boy, aren't they. Uh, and I am going to uh, go ahead and activate my swarm again, because they're still there. You've got it. And that is for D, oh, uh, DC 14 constitution saving throw first. Uh, that unfortunately does succeed with the natural 16. Oh no, and they still take half though. Indeed, so go to uh, damage. 4d6, here we go. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total divided by two is Got it. seven-ish. Seven points of fire damage to it. The, the insects begin biting around it and you watch the little sparks sparking off it as they're impacting and carving through. <laughs> yes, sweeping in the air. Buggies, go, you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> Awesome. Finishing your turn? Yes. All right, Grelnok, you're up with Slaughter on deck. Come on, Grenlock. Grelnok. Yeah, no, whatever. <laughs> that, Alex. Go for it. Roll for an attack. Please finish him. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. How do you want to do this? Oh. Yes! <sighs> I'm going to just. Rage out and swing and oh, you already chopped one's head off. I'm gonna chop the other head off. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Skulls for the skull. I need God. the skulls. Yeah. <laughs> As you swing past, it takes two hits. The first one carves through partway into the throat. Its eyes kind of go wide. Flip the axe and swing back the other way. <laughs> the head spins and slops under the ground. The body falls forward and ends up slumping against the other corpse. The other head kind of rolling, coming to a stop on the opposite end. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's here. everything I've tried to not do in my life. Well, you're still not doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, good. <laughs> good. Burn. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm still pure. 
Thank you. Mm. I don't think I can carry all these skulls. <laughs> I go and I, the two corpses that are resting against the walls, I just snap their heads off and hand them to me. Yeah! Oh. I take uh, some I'm of lousy the with skulls, fabric then. and I make a big rope so that you can uh, weave the rope through the eye holes of the skulls and you carry it like a sling on your back. Ooh, there you go. I like it. I'll spend some time spend working on that little skull sling. <laughs> you, you get two more rounds of healing, too. I was about to say, you? how many more rounds of healing do you um, get? I get one more. I'm fully healed, so if anyone wants to jump in, it can do. Oh yeah, it can yeah, do, yeah. Well, it can only do up to twenty total healing, so it can do five more healing. Oh, you okay. could do. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, I, no, I got this. Are you sure? No, hundred percent. Okay, I'll go sit. <laughs> Let me roll it for you, just in case it doesn't come out as uh, uh, that. Uh, no, three. So there's two more left. If you want to jump in. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. All right, go for it. I'll, Thank you. I'll roll it, and then it's probably fourteen. Yeah, Great. it says eight, but you get two. <laughs> All righty. Mushrooms disappear. <laughs> Can I just look at this sword and just see if I see anything unusual about it other than its color? Make an investigation check. There. Investigation check. Mallory, how does the 17. crystal work? Well, when you, well, it's it's done now. It's, oh, it's just geez. one hit. It's one good hit. Okay. Oh. It was great. And yeah, it, 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 it would have been great if it hadn't died too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wasn't very helpful on that. You, you did great. I, it was lightning. It was great. Yeah. It was lightning. He has so much lightning. The, uh, the Why don't if we take a bit of that of that crocodile? I'm kind of curious what it would taste like. There's a we whole tail. It up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna go in it. <laughs> oh, it looks delicious. Okay, I think I can do. You start carving right. some meat off of it. Um, uh, Magicka stamina restored. Oh Ooh. wow. When, yeah, Magicka That's stamina. Great. I love this. At the end of every yeah, battle, your stamina and magic come back. <laughs> Yeah. But it's just a short-term burn use. It's great. It lets you like feel like you can really go all out mm-hmm. every battle, mm-hmm. which is pretty. Yeah, cool. that is nice. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, so looking at the, at the the sword that you found uh, from the, your quick glance at one of the bodies, um, the texture and pattern on it, you've heard of this material. Um, it is uh, orichalk, so it's an orichalk sword. It is a uh, a flexible, powerful metal that is used uh, in blacksmithing and forging, and it'll probably be like a pretty decent longsword for anyone with uh, martial interest in using one. Can I use it? It says I have a maul, but I don't know. You could use it if okay. you want to. I'll take it. Okay. For all intents and purposes, it's considered a longsword plus two in this game. Okay. So plus two Can to hit, I plus two to search damage. the headless bodies and see what they have in their pockets? Sure, make an investigation check. I'll, I'll assist on that. Nice. You're okay. <laughs> oh, there's I a lot sp- of blood all over the bodies now. <laughs> I specifically didn't roll my own because I wanted you to roll both. <laughs> yep. So, well, with advantage, that came to a six. That's so everything I wanted. Both of these these daedric creatures, these daedric beasts, um, do not have pockets. Oh, do I didn't mean have. those. I meant the oh. You know what? All four bodies in here are headless now, so I see the misunderstanding. I see. <laughs> Amazing. That's where, that's where I got the idea from. I didn't realize it. Uh-huh. With a six, like, you searched the, the bigger creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Where? Nooks and crannies, pretty bloody. Not a lot of. Not a lot of things to find on them, mm. but there's some decent meat. You could probably, if it's cookable, edible. You don't know. You'll find out the hard way. Um, that could be harvested or salvaged. If anyone needs extra healing, I could summon forth more mushrooms if you would like. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I am hurt. Pretty I uh, burn another magic. Oh, you yeah. So fungal, gr- fungal growth is once per short rest if you like. Oh, oh is it? Oh, I'm it's sorry. Okay, I can, I can, oh, I can heal a little bit as well if you do, if you I, need. I mean, I can heal too. I was just if you were offering a free mushroom party, like I was gonna. <laughs> I, I'm, I was gonna all, I'm all out of mushroom themes. I can't. Yeah, put it's any more out. <laughs> uh, I like put my hand on my chest and like a little rune begins to glow like red and gold on my skin, and I'm gonna cast rune focus on myself. Alrighty. And heal some some D force. Okay. And it says the next attack on me has a di- has disadvantage. Does that carry through just till the next time something attacks me? <laughs> yeah. Tight. Shred it. Right cool. All right. We'll say until the next short rest. Essentially. Right. The points back. Twenty-two. 
Well, should we so, investigate the other bodies? <laughs> you can if oh, you'd like to. <laughs> you, did you just do I one did, of them? I just did the big crocodile bodies. I haven't done the little <laughs> human bodies yet. Well, you found a cool... I found a cool sword on one. I can go and just... Like, well, I already pockets. investigated sword. Yeah. So someone else investigate I'll, those bodies. I'll, I'll, I'll take a round. I'll give you I'll, help. Okay. Oh, uh, no, well, it's all way. you. No, I'm good. Bro, it's cheering you on. All of us are telling you... Look at the body. Look at the body. Little cheer squad over here. Check the pockets. 15. Hey. 15. Okay. You do find, um, uh, upon the other body and kind of the scattered bits of debris around it, uh, a heavy axe that is made of similar, if not the exact same metal as that longsword, uh, uh, or shalcum. And the, Beautiful. so that does act as a plus two battle axe. For anybody who'd want to utilize that, I don't need this. I'm just gonna. What is that? Oh my god! No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab it and bring it over to you. <laughs> Dude, is that better than what I have? If, what do you use? Use a battle axe. Battle axe. Yeah, it'd be the same. The same rolls you have, just add plus two to hit and damage. Hmm. No. Tight. You also find a potion of health, <gasps> which is a super a, super a quick bonus action. Two d four plus two healing to whoever uses it. And a mostly burned journal. Oh, I'm okay. A now. mostly burned, burned journal. A burned journal. Who yep. here can read? Is that a better That's name? That's not good. Is that is, is that a better name for our our restaurant, the Burn Journal? The Burn Journal. Oh, Burn Journal. It has the dreary, a lot of jury, jury jug. The jury, the jury jug and the Burn Journal. <laughs> oh, many items are in our taverns. So that would make it. sense. You can burn it into like a thrift store. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting it on the list. Burn Journal. Okay. I'm gonna burn open burn up this Burn Journal. journal. Okay. And, uh, it is dreary, briefly burn. browse it. Briefly browse the burn journal yeah. <laughs> beneath the jury jug. Jury burn journal. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. Uh, it is heavily damaged, but skimming through, you find references to a veil between Nirn and Oblivion that has been laid thin and traversable. Um, other entries speak of Daedric powers bleeding through. Um, and deeper still, a passage reads, to keep the power of the ambitions is paramount. Such weapons of annihilation are key. After hearing that, I remind everyone that Nirn is the planet that we live on. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's very hard to remember. This Maybe the planet you're living on okay. right now, but. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't this know. sounds a lot bigger than what I thought we were getting into. Yeah. Like difficult to carry kind of thing. I don't yeah. know. What did you think we were getting into? I don't know, we were going to find something that was worth a lot of money or something? Yeah, and, and give it to that guy. Yeah, that one. This sounds like it's worth a lot of money, I don't know. Oh, we does, sell does the journal. The burn journal say which door we should go into to find this thing? Ooh. Well, does, it, does it say? <laughs> well, wh wh no, it didn't, it's mostly just recipes that after that. Behind the north door was... <laughs> um, Probably more some... creatures to deal with. Um, Many small ones, so... Uh, maybe skip that one for now and come back to it if it's important. Later. Okay. Sure. Unless that's where. Let's check the other doors. Yeah, let's see. check the other yeah. doors. Okay. So we have the the east door and the south door. To those left. are the other. Those are the ones that do not have that living essence. In okay. Um, are they locked? Would you, which one would you like? to I find? would like to go over and just sort of look at the east door. Sure. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. One thing you do notice in the east door as you approach is there is a symbol intricately painted on the door that appears to be a, a fiery rising sun. Are there similar symbols on the other doors? Not from what you can see. Uh, make a history or religion check. You're trouble at both? Eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah, no idea. Yeah, cool. I'll, I'll check the doorknob if there is such a doorknob. The door is closed, but it is not locked. Yeah. Get a skull ready. Our, oh, yeah. Have do you want to just use the big one real quick? You don't have to undo the other one. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of them here. I like that you're just pulling the, 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 the scarf and they're just staying back there. Yeah, they so are. Try <laughs> <laughs> the other way. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna use the sword to fling the skull. Uh, I'll just I'll just open the door with my hand. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and open the door, and immediately as you look within, it is a kind of metallic set of kind of dark metal stairs that descend in a tight spiral, like a spiral staircase out of sight. 
The walls themselves have occasional carved columns in the sides of a similar Daedric architectural design. Uh, uh, you also notice from above the door, suddenly, <laughs> a purplish fume fills the space where you stand. Anybody who would have been within five feet of our good friend here? I will use my reaction to cast Bone Shield on myself. Awesome. The bones get in front of your way, and the I toxic, use the skull. The toxic fume <laughs> suffuses the porous bone <laughs> you hold before yeah. you. I need you to go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Sure. Uh, not good. Uh, like five, six. Five, six. You begin to cough heavily as the poisonous gas fills your lungs. You take six points of poison damage. But bone shield gives me six temporary hit points. <gasps> Ooh, That's true. Yeah. So, wow. as you hold it upward, the, uh, the bone shield itself, as it swirls around you, actually closes off possible air passages, and as such, the fumes disperse. <laughs> <A> literal bone. <laughs> <laughs> With no poison damage, I'll say you also are not poisoned, as from the trap would normally do. Tima is so proud of you and that this was excellent shield work. <laughs> you shielded against air. With, with a dead head. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Defensive necromancy. You know, <laughs> you know, servers have to be, uh, they have to think on their feet. They have to be aware of their surroundings. They have to be, you know, ready to deal with any sort of crisis that comes. And this was just an example of that. You know, if we're thinking about theming our restaurant, you should really use your bone shield as a serving platter. It'll help add to the ambiance. Ooh, Ooh I like it. I could even, you, I could throw dishes at our customers <laughs> on skulls. Ooh, we can serve like fajitas and you can set it on fire before you throw it. Oh, That's great. I love it. I, I work on that theme though. Baked Alaska, can we do that? Mm. <laughs> Todd, <laughs> that. So Banana Todd. spot. It's a dessert. Okay. <laughs> Well, this staircase seems like the actual way we're supposed to go. It feels like there's this whole other room right here, though. I know, right we should here, check though. the other door to see if there's Let's gold in there. I don't want to yeah. check. Lee's going to check. <laughs> you you guys check. <laughs> Make an investigation <laughs> check. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, eight. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, an eight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's been a great show, everyone. Oh, this roll. So, as you approach and look carefully, nah, it doesn't appear to be trapped. And as you lean back on your other foot to tell your friends, oh, no. the, the piece of stone that was at the step, the front of the door, kind of gives a little bit. Like it, the weight shifts, and you hear a. <laughs> as you look back, I jump. Oh, God. You glance up just in time no. to see this like cylindrical shape in the ceiling get larger and larger and larger. <gasps> the rest of you watch as a stone cylinder in the roof just <laughs> drops. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no, 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 no. You just get squished right now, and that's the end. That you would come be back from amazing. Being squished. Dexterity save? Ooh. Yes, please. Healing potion. Do I have one of those? <laughs> I kind of do. Oh, no. Eight. Oh, Again. no. Oh, <laughs> You take 15 points of bludgeoning damage and are restrained. Because there's a. Because I'm on stuck you. by a. My, yes. Okay. Uh. You watch this go. And you just see, like, full on uh. Wily e. Coyote, arms and legs akimbo. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then for a moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no movement. Both of you make strength checks, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I rolled a one. Oh, no. Can it be an athletics check? What? No, this is this is not an athletic like per perpetual thing. This is a <laughs> singular feat of strength. Yeah, eight. <laughs> oh, one God, of eight. So you take an additional four points of bludgeoning damage as it's continuing to crush you. Oh, no. So oh, I was God, about to. Bad. Keep trying. I'm going to use dark exchange really quickly. Okay. And, uh, give myself a little bit of healing because oh god. I will. I will cast. Uh, I will cast spirit mender on him. Using three magicka. <laughs> and I will uh, harness my dark powers to, to cast uh, he this healing. It's 1d4 plus, plus one per round. And then the I'm going to use round. my action to, to cast Power Surge. I'm uh, not Power Surge, I'm sorry, Force Shock. 
Oh, that's good. You got three points. Oh, thank you. Of healing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cast four sh- four uh, four shock on this thing. Okay. Everything is hard to say. Yeah, <laughs> four that works shock. Out. Go ahead and roll damage four on that one. Uh, the North Door. Right. <laughs> four shock the North Shore. Uh, all right, please roll high. Um, that's okay. Uh, that's eleven points of force damage. Okay, I'll say as you're like trying to pull from underneath, you rush forward and go ahead and summon this dark spirit. This like ghastly wraith appears, and for a second, your mind goes like, "Oh God, it's coming to take his soul!" But it like reaches out and touches the hand, and you feel a little bit of strength return to you. So you heal one d four plus one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you have your thing. Three points, yeah. And then you push off with this blast of force, and the cylinder. <laughs> flies off oh. and goes arcing through the air. Um, I need you to make a dexterity. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> With advantage, because you do see it coming. Well, okay, that's a four, and that's another four. Oh, oh my dex is one. I got a five, y'all. <laughs> Total. <laughs> You take four points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. It just nicks you. It's not the full impact. It doesn't restrain you, but it does like clip you, and you kind of like, oh, grab your shoulder as it oh slams God. into the back wall, cracking it and coming to rest there as dust begins to settle a bit. Uh, We're doing great. Okay, Go maybe team. check for trap mate. Checking for traps is good. <laughs> Ow. Well, that was the trap, so I, was, I feel yeah. like I was the door is good just now. Just checking for it. Yeah. And, uh, good, Mallory. Uh, not you get two more rounds of healing from me, oh, so that's God. another three points and another three points. I mean, were you holding? A... That's eleven total, I think. It was nine total. Nine total. So, all right. I think I'm at. Um, I think that brings me back up to eighteen. I, the math I got a little far. I'm pretty sure I'm at eighteen after that. I'll trust you. Is eighteen your full? No, it's close though. Okay. So I'm gonna step over Mallory's body and push the door open. <laughs> <laughs> you got that potion, bud. I'm just letting you know. I know. Give you a little like pat for now. You're, you're okay. The door opens, and it is a gradual kind of decline, tight tunnel that continues on downward before evening out about a hundred feet or so below. It's another fucking pathway. Always. Which way do we go? I don't can you send a bug or something to see where to go? Um, no, I can't um, see what they're seeing. I just, um, they do what I tell them to do. Like, it's a little different than that. Um, I could go down and look if you want with my, my dark vision. Hold, you just got hit by the pillar we all saw, so no, not on your own. Okay, well, we could all go down together. Oh, which one do my, we want to My do? door had a fire symbol on it, oh. which is cool. Um, yeah. do that for? But then we just... just Mallory almost died opening this one. I feel like we should probably do this one. I'm genuinely not invested. (laughs) If anybody's worried, I'm not invested. I feel like we have to honor the sacrifice. Don't honor me. Don't. Well, it has blood on it. So anyone coming through will know we marked the door, at least. That's true. Yeah, Yeah. I'm I'm fine just, just. What about the third door, though? Um, That one one had the the bug door. Living things behind it? Creatures, I could take care of them if you want, but, um, you know, these two doors are already kind of open, so. What if there's gold behind that door? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take care of it. No, I... no, no, what? no. Hold on, We're I have an idea. Pick from one of these two doors. <laughs> we don't need the third door. Oh, wait, we sure? This for smush door. Smush door? Yeah. I'm 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 team fire door, but okay, we got fair. one vote for each. Yeah. Yeah. Smush door, fire door. What else we got? Gold door. <laughs> okay, so you, this is my decision. Yeah. So now, so we get one vote each for three of the doors. Yeah, all right. Um, I choose the sun door because it looks very pretty. What's the sun What's door? The sun door. The, the, the fire, fire, fire door. door. It was oh, a fiery okay. sun. To be oh, there was a fourth door. I was yeah. gonna <laughs> take, take a hostage. <laughs> I will admit, I kind of want to see the cylinder door. Yeah. All right, so we have a tie now. Hi. <laughs> Should it's we, the gold door then, right? Because is that how that works? I'm you the only to, one that's got the odd How vote. about how no, about you try and open the gold door and we see what happens? Lost, so you have to pick between the other two. I say you try and open the gold door and see what happens. I'm okay, I actually like that. All right, I'll okay. go over and look for traps. Oh god. I'm making an investigation check. <laughs> Wait, is, it, is the gold door the north door? The gold. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> investigation 15. Ooh. 15 does not appear to be trapped. It looks like there is a slight gap that it it's not locked, but it is wedged, or it is caught in some way. It might be pulled open forcefully. 
but there's a slight gap in the door. You can kind of just you can, can I a little bit. hear any creatures right Make behind? Make perception it? check. Perception, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seven. Seven. You hear occasional like. Mm-mm. All right, all right, all right. I got an idea. Mm. You pull open the door. <laughs> I'm a little ball out. Go stand over to the side. <laughs> Actually, I, no, 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 you guys work on that? Like, <laughs> uh, we've been working on this teamwork for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can you had a drop, and I'm going to get ready to cast okay. Stone Stone Fist as soon as the door opens. Does a Stone Fist just protect you from stuff? No, 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 no. <laughs> no that's, that's, okay. that's hardened armor, baby. No, it's cool. Like, I feel. But like, I'm afraid you're going to take some damage from No, nah, we're good. Fist. I'm into it. Uh, can I ready a, a spell oh, God. as I open the door or nah? Yeah. I'll and it's the same. And as soon as the door comes open, I'm going to get ready to slam my battle axe down onto the ground. Sweet. I'm well, ready to if you're, if whoever's pulling the door open, that's your action. You wouldn't be able to ready something okay. for that. But anybody else could ready. And not ready anything, and I'm opening it anyway. Here we go. All right. Blah. Go ahead and make a strength check for me, please. Okay. Can it be athletics, please? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> no! Pop! Oh, something in the shoulder. Oh, pop! Oh, oh, no. oh. oh that's super wedged. Uh, super wedged. Uh, you, you felt it move a little bit. You were super close. Ugh, like I warmed it up. Like like one off. Pop, it pops back in. Oh, oh that's, that's fresh. Okay, I'm gonna need a second. Um, just give her a little. Yeah, thank you, thank you. On the back. Yeah. The heavy shifting. You hear this little sound come through the crack. The sounds like rats. Yeah. Spiders. It's not bad. Yes, um, if you want, I could um, set a trap in front of the door from this side, and then when we open the door, if they come rushing out, they'll get caught in that trap. Ooh, that's a great That's idea. great. But we do have to figure out how to open the door without crossing the trap. Okay. What if you ready the spell, I open the door, you then set I, the trap. Okay, let's try that one. Okay. Do you want to open it? Good. Should we well, try watch your together? Can I help together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll try together. All right, so you're getting your trap ready? All right, it's ready. Okay. <laughs> so I was reading the trap. I didn't know you were ready for Good drama. Good it's drama. Ready. It's called Bob Trap, and it's ready now. <laughs> All right, so you got yourself prepped. Both okay. of you make strength checks, okay. or one of you makes it with advantage. Your choice. Let's now roll it with advantage. Go, Are you go. sure? I'm super sure. <laughs> this ain't gonna work unless it got better. Cause you thirteen. <laughs> Oh. It pulls an additional inch, an inch, but, <laughs> but not fully open. This door sucks. You begin to see like little snouts. <laughs> you begin trying to push through the crap. It is, it is. You expect rats, but these are like larger noses, and you see faint bits of like an, a greenish glow as they peek through. I got a great idea. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna look inside. I'm not gonna get super close. I'm just gonna. Try and get a, a, a vantage, and I'm going to cast lightning splash on the other side of the door. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, there there is enough space there to like fit is a trap. This a castable or cast situation, a just like blah blah. I can yeah. Yeah. I can put a ten foot sphere sixty feet away. Get it? Yes. All right, and you could probably fit a trap in there if you wanted to. Yes, um, I would like to do my barb trap also. Okay. Much pleasure. <laughs> so uh, it is a. DC what for you? For me, oh. it is a uh, DC 13 dex saving. We are very good. All right. Man, being strong. <laughs> nope. DC 14 for me. We kicked button no. that way, though. Yes. We got some gold. And yes. And then for you, it's DC 14? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Nope. Nope, wow, it's a full inverse on both points. All right, so go ahead and roll damage. I did, it's eight, um, and if they take damage, they also stop moving and are grappled until it breaks free. Nice! Ooh, so as you kind of like chuck the trap in there, it goes and kind of like sets off all these like screams and screeches, right? As this burst of energy from inside, go ahead and roll damage free. 14. Ooh. Alrighty. Yeah, even halved. You hear this, this, this sudden, Swirling cavalcade of screeches and screams. Scrambling. 
silence. <gasps> Yay! Nice. We opened it the exact right amount, and I'm proud of us. <laughs> Wait, and I pushed wait. my shoulder back into its socket one more time. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a little closer to the to the to the crack. Oh no, I'm right here. I'm so edible. Ah! <laughs> Make a persuasion or deception check. Your he choice. is edible. Because you are edible and you are very close. You can make a persuasion if you'd like. I'm not that edible. You'd have to really cook. <laughs> uh, I know where I've been. Dealer's choice. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. I mean, somebody believe that. But no response. Yeah, the, the void does not believe it. That <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're good. Let's uh. In the store. Yeah. Let's uh, axe maybe and. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll, they, we'll break the good axe. Hold yeah. on. We got this. One yeah, more. Yeah, we'll just brace our feet. On yeah, the side just get on the and side. Get the extra. Big pull. All right. I'm so I'll just I'll throw feet. a skull at it just to see if I can <laughs> knock it. A little. Go for it. All right. So go ahead and roll an attack, and you guys go ahead and roll. Sweet. I'm not gonna light the skull up. Roll with advantage on the side. Yes. Thank you. Okay, there we go. 22. Yeah! 22. <gasps> you go ahead and it slams open. What'd you roll? 11. 11. You miss the door entirely. <laughs> it goes into the room. And I it... need that skull. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> shatters. The skull shatters in, in, in fire. But if it hits, I get it back. Correct, but, but you missed. <laughs> so it shatters in the wall. <laughs> Was that my skull or one of the ones? I, that doesn't matter. I got four left. I'm okay. <laughs> you go get it. It's right there. No, it blows up. Skull. Blew up. Yeah, uh, maybe some of the like rat skulls. Oh yeah, I'll use these and those rats. are much easier to throw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What are these? It's like a kid at the museum keeps throwing their doll in inappropriate places <laughs> and then crying. <laughs> Immediately you can see from the flash of flame and the lanterns you're carrying with you, uh, it is about a 15 by 15 foot storage chamber. Um, you can see there's tumbled and rotten grains, uh, long toppled water jugs that have since emptied yes. and dried out, leaving kind of just this faint residue of long, stale water. Um, and you see what looks to be an armored and fresher, if mostly eaten, corpse that is propped up in the corner. Bones picked of flesh, and elements of the armor kind of torn open, and these rats apparently had eaten what remained within. More Were they gold. just normal rats? Uh, looking upon their bodies, they are larger, and given this kind of odd, bone-like protrusions in their body, not dissimilar to the large crocodile beast that you had fought, which mm. um, marking, you know, make a religion or history check. Great at those. <laughs> you got it. Natural one. <laughs> so proud. These are some creepy rats, rats, dude. <laughs> uh, I'll try to pop off a little mini skull. With a little work, you can. You can. There is one like giant bleached skull that is like mostly like pulled of flesh that had been eaten off of it from oh. rats that is just going. Oh, I'll go get that guy. Yeah. Okay. You. Pop that off. Is there any uh, like emblem or anything on the armor that looks familiar? Uh, the armor, you can see the armor is like dark, kind of grayish leather, but it is worn beneath what looks to be a set of reddish, like deep crimson robes. Uh, make an investigation check. Natural 20. Yeah. yeah. Amongst the tattered refuse, both rotted flesh and terrifying rat droppings, you see a mask, a scarred, kind of almost featureless like gray mask with eye holes that is left there amongst the pile around this corpse. You also discover that beneath the armor there is a like a, a nicely well-made silk robe. The armor was more ornamental over an actual like thick robe, um, as well as a singular potion of health and stamina. Mm. That when it heals you, or if you drink it, you gain one d six plus one hit points back, Ooh. and one stamina. Ooh. And because you rolled so high, an odd flat circular stone with an unfamiliar symbol carved into it. You can make a history religion check if you'd like. Eighteen. Eighteen. Mm. This is the letter Ot. Eight O H T in the Daedric alphabet, and the symbol most commonly associated with the Void of Oblivion. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> huh? it, it, it's Ot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remind Relnock that? that we live on the planet near. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this, this ain't good. Yes, I think it looks similar to the um, symbols I sort of saw on the outside of the large door. So this is probably a bad place to create a theme park escape room, maybe. Uh, no, I feel well, I don't know. That. The place used to be called the Dreary Jug. Maybe we call it the Oat Jugs, you know? Mm. No? No. Mm. <laughs> I'm not writing that one. No, nope. I'm not going to. Plot, if you could, you make a history religion check, since you made the Daedric connection earlier, and with the stone in your hand, with what Grelnok has noted. That's a dirty 20. Hey. Hey. The symbol, the fiery sun rising on the other door that was opened, there was something about it that was kind of tickling your mind. You couldn't quite place it, but now seeing the connection of the Daedric architecture, this stone to oblivion, the Daedric beast that you fought, that is known in places to be the emblem of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Prince of Darkness and Destruction. Uh-oh. So there's a Prince of Darkness, um, mm -hmm. and I, I think he, he or, or he, they uh, rule over this place, or the people who visit here, um, so this is super bad news, uh, but uh, Maybe there's still treasure? I don't know. How does this all... What does this mean for us and us just trying to find some money at this uh, point? Feels like a better chance right. to find money? Do we well, want to... taking the mask. Okay. okay. Take a look. Take this those, robe. I want those. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Take Anybody? Take mask. Robes? Robes? I mean, I do like... I like red. I'm, yeah, I throw the you. stone into the the meat sack that we, I have. <laughs> into the meat sack? <laughs> okay. Eat the beef jerky. <laughs> Those are considered spider silk robes, which Ooh. are plus one to AC and saves. If you what? And it's red, and you were just talking about how you hated your outfit. Yeah, yeah. I do feel better. It's the ruffles. It's hard to pull doors open. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. There's a pretty this woman you. montage. It's okay. Can I keep these? Yeah. They look okay? I'm gonna, it looks very look good. good baby. If, Thank if you. If possible, Matt, I'm real. the sash is not working for me. <laughs> I'm gonna, instead, I'm gonna take the skulls and try to jam them on all my spikes oh, <laughs> that are all no. over my body. Oh, my <laughs> See if I can make them stay. Oh, all right, uh, our, go ahead and make a dexterity check for me. Okay, come on. This is my roll. Ten. <laughs> it takes you a little bit, and 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 you, a couple points like your companions kind of watch and figure you. You need a little help there, and it was more of a communal effort. But altogether, you eventually, much like much like the friend at the Comic Con masquerade who needs a group to help him put <laughs> yeah, his costume on, handler. together you eventually have assembled the Skullmeister. Yeah. <laughs> Final yeah. form. I'm, I'm here to take your order. <laughs> <laughs> You're halfway to. You look friendly. Great. That's good. Great. All right. So I'm trying on this mask. I'm seeing what it if it has any. What it does, if it feels good, I don't know. Uh, it, I mean, it, yeah. it fits. It doesn't seem to have any sort of pertinent energy to it. Um, does it smell bad? I mean, it, it smells, smells pretty awful, but no yes. different than the rest of the chamber that it was found in and the pile of refuse and filth that it was pulled from. Wait, does it smell in here? <laughs> yes. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Anything we'll, else in the room? We'll in any of the grain? Should always break the pots Nestiness. of the water uh, jugs. Yeah. You, always you feel like you search pretty Except thoroughly with that oh, roll. Right. So uh, most everything else in here is is rotted materials for whoever might have been the previous denizens of this subterranean chamber. Tight. We still have the conundrum of the two other doors. Hotspot. Fiery door. Yeah, Fiery door. I changed my vote okay. to hotspot. Okay. Now we know that symbol means is connected with a stone in the Prince of Darkness. So, okay. Okay. So we know where we're going. Here. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. So Who will lead us? <laughs> where are you trekking? Into the door with the symbol on it. The I'm feeling pretty. This door. All righty. I'm feeling splashy. I can do that. I got All right. it. I got it. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, okay. In the door. Wait, can I check for shots first? <laughs> no. Please. Make an investigation check. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I already reset? opened that. I already, I already opened that door. <laughs> yeah. The door is oh, open. Oh, yeah. oh, it's already. It's open. I still I, check. I, I get really nervous. Like, hey, spiral spin. Double, triple yeah. check is never a bad thing. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, 19. 19, looking about, you can see there is definitely a trapped mechanism for the door frame that involves when the door is opened if the weight, the kind of clutch on top of the door is shifted out of the way, like your necromancer right. friend did earlier. However, currently it is not reset and requires manual resetting, so you feel pretty confident moving through right now would be fine. 
Okay. Awesome. I think we're good. Yeah. You I... got dark vision, right? No. <laughs> we have torches, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got a torch. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take rear. Oh. All right. So you're up front. Who oh, else next? I'm up. Oh, you're up front. Sorry. Yeah. All right. I'm in so the back. You're in the back. Oh, so you said rear. Got you. Not front. All right. So front. Who's after uh, Tavima? I'll go after. All right. So you have Tavima, Mallory, Hua. And I'm just walking around like the okay. kid in A Christmas Story. <laughs> <laughs> in the Stay Puft mode. Got it. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Descending down this metallic spiral staircase, deeper and deeper below, the shadows that greet you beyond the torch and lantern light that you carry begin to shift away as sconces begin to appear, still slightly glowing of orange embers and the slight smell of smoke and charcoal begins to seep into the air. <coughs> Tivima, as you're the first descending these stairs, weapon at the ready, you begin to hear sounds echoing from deep below. It sounds like the scraping of metal on metal. Occasionally a heavy echoing grunt and a shout. Door struggles, got it. Deeper and deeper still you travel. 60, 80, 100 feet beneath. As the noises get louder and louder. Ching, 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 ching. Ah! Oh. Oh. No. No. I just like hold the group, like, let's see who wins, and we'll clean it up after. It gets louder and louder to the point where you stop and you make a perception check for me. Natural one. Oh. Natural one. Probably, a, probably quite a ways down below. Yeah. Like you got, you got, you can travel pretty far. We're good. Okay. Feeling and safe. I, okay. So you guys all Keep continue going. down, and you turn one corner. <laughs> you turn one corner, and all of a sudden, <laughs> to me, you turn, and you're just in a room. Like you're literally just stepped in the door. Oh. We have a oh, lot of there is this wide, wide chamber. This somewhat. Uh, square-like structure. Uh, no music. <laughs> Seventy feet across on each side, and it rises up like a reverse pyramid to an apex about seventy feet above you. You can see chains dangling, and that Daedric architecture itself begins to coalesce towards the top. In the middle of this, on a rise-stepped chamber, you see four bodies strewn about, bloody and not moving. Some burned and charred with smoke still fresh off their corpses. You can see them all wearing similar. Robes is the one you saw on the corpses that have been strewn about the previous chambers you've been to, and the one that you're currently wearing. Masks tossed on the floor. In the center of the room, you hear a voice shout, The time for ambitions is now! We come to prove ourselves! And you look up and see there is amongst, oh, still standing in a similar garb to these other figures, but in heavier armor, a figure with a massive two-handed sword makes a giant swing mask on their face towards a 12-foot oh. humanoid bestial daedric monster with four massive muscular armored arms. And you can see it has this crest of multiple twisting horns off the top of its head, its red scaled body and toothy mouth open, screaming as they're both just trading blows. The figure streaks wide with a secondary hit, and you watch as it catches a blade in the shoulder of the creature, roars and grabs both of this entity's arms and begins to pull, and the figure screams as the arms are torn from his sockets. With that, the body falls to the ground and is uh, uh, yelling in pain as it's trying to back away with its feet as the creature throws the arms to the side and then stomps and smashes the head onto the stonework. You're all just kind of like, what did I just step I'm into? Turn around to the group like, this is <laughs> As soon as you're saying that, behind, <laughs> over the shoulder of Tavima, the creature goes, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Everyone roll initiative for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Turn around and close this the door, right? Clear a door, right? We just like to slowly. Yes. This is gonna be such a good restaurant. You guys. Uh, what does this thing do again? Just reminder on this, the ropes. Plus one to uh, AC. Plus one to AC and plus one to all saving. Cool. Throws. Perfect. That's great. Love that. Alrighty. So, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, hey. hey. Mallory up top. Alrighty. Twenty to fifteen. 15 to 10. 12. 
Okay. Oh my oh god. Boy. Alrighty. Ten to five? <laughs> Six? Five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to Vima? Sir? And then one? <laughs> and uh, I. Four. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Top of the round is an immediate reaction as you're all kind of like staring at this this climactic battle happening in the bottom of this subterranean chamber, still barely piecing together what any of this may or might mean. In the search of coin, you found yourself pulled into something maybe a bit beyond what you had expected. But nevertheless, here you are, the being noticing your presence. <laughs> and up top is Mallory, what are you doing? With Crawl Knock on deck. I feel like this is somebody else's business, but oh boy, <laughs> this is not this is not what we needed. Uh, I'm going to start with a, a lightning splash right in the center of this thing. Okay, uh, that's a DC 14. 14. That's a failure. That's a. Come on. Ah, 11 points of lightning damage. 11 points of lightning damage. Nice. It's like. He has his forearms out, kind of flex angrily, the kind of clawed fingertips, and then suddenly psh, the sphere bursts with energy, arcing through its body. Psh, psh, oh God. I understand that. I'm going to back up. <laughs> up into the stairs a bit? Okay. Uh, yeah, as I do, I'm tapping your sword again to give you yes. crystal weapon. Thank but you, thank you. Use that quickly, is yeah, what I recommend. It. Okay. Nice. Grell knock, you're up. Uh-huh. How, how, how far away is this creature? Uh, from you right now, about 45 feet. Okay. 40 feet, I'd say. 40 feet, all right. I'm gonna... Let's get in there. I'm gonna run forward 20 feet. Okay. And I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna swing out my molten whip and try to... And whip the creature and snag it. Slick, all right. Because it's up higher than us, right? It is a little bit of an erased platform, about maybe five or six feet above. Yeah, so maybe if I can whip it and try to yank it down the hill, it'll take some damage. Go for it. Go ahead and roll for your attack on that. Is that spell attack? That's a spell attack, yes. <laughs> Nine? No! Oh. You throw the whip out. And at first you think it strikes, but instead it wraps it around no, one of its no, no. wide arms. The flames kind of licking the side of its, its forearm and just goes, and you see it about to pull you forward. I let go of the whip. You let go and <laughs> with that, the molten whip just deapparates. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's all right. That's all okay, right. that's um, an action for my bonus action. Mm-hmm. What I'm other weapon will you give? To <laughs> the creature. <laughs> Turn his fuel. Fish and whips. <laughs> I'm gonna use my. Oh god. Well, you know, I'm gonna use my l last Magicka point and cast hardened armor on myself just in case it comes running at me. Good call. You got it. Alrighty. So that finishes up your turn, girl. Like it is <gasps> now. The Ruin Knock Monster's okay. turn. Oh, hey, buddy. You're about, you're 20 feet from ahead of the rest of the group? Yes, I am. And you am. back up the stairs. Mm hmm. It moves forward about 30, no, about 15 feet. 20 feet gets right up into your space. And as it's stepping, <laughs> its two lower arms begin to like swirl around. And as it does, you see flames beginning to curl and summon and. Hua! <laughs> <laughs> Tavima and Slaughter. Oh no. The ground beneath you begins to get extremely warm. And as you glance down, you can see the stone and marble beneath you beginning to burn bright orange before a column of burning fire suddenly just swirls around you. I need the three of you to make a dexterity saving throws for me, please. Early crime was being slow. Am I, al yep. am I allowed to bone shield myself? As a reaction? Yeah, you would. Okay. I'll bone shield myself. Go for it. But I will also roll, ooh, a 20. Okay. On my saving throw. Okay, so you take half damage on that. So you would take four points of fire damage. But I just, uh, I got seven temporary hit points. You have three more. I rolled a 10. A 10, so you take eight points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. 12. <laughs> eight points of fire damage to you. Oh, now looking good over here. You're all feeling a little singed there in a brief moment. Oh. 
And as it stands now, the, the flames kind of you know, pulled upward in front of you. It still kind of heats in your face with the proximity, Grelnok. The creature now glancing over your over top of you to the friends, now looking singed and burned. It chuckles and looks down towards you. You can see just rows and rows of spiky teeth in its open jaw. Uh, that finishes its go, which brings it to Tavima with really? Hua on deck. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, shoot. Do I have a sense of. Is fire not going to mess with this thing that much? It, you you do not know. Uh, it, okay. it seems to be able to to summon fire, but your experience in the world is things that use fire doesn't necessarily always mean that they're honestly same. I am I am a, a burned proof of that. Okay, <laughs> uh, we'll start with a backlash. So DC fifteen con save. You got it. That is a failure at 13. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. For three points of fire damage. Three points of fire damage. Hate to see it. The light, <laughs> and as opposed to like the deep red flames that it summoned, this is like a bright solar flare-like fire that like burns and sears, and as it does, you can see it settling on its shoulders like a, a, a faint arcane mantle, and you see its eyes kind of <laughs> reeling from it. Okay, um, and then... Yeah, let's hit it with Sunfire while we're here. You got it. Cool. Uh, okay, please, 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 please. <laughs> no. 14? 14 is exactly <gasps> armor class. <gasps> nice. hey, He's a big dude. dude. He's a big dude. All right, all right, all right. Ten. 13 points of fire damage. 13 points of fire damage. Uh, and is there any other enemy? No, 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 because it ran forward. Are there any of the other like uh, red-robed guys like within five feet? Red robe, red robe, red robe. They are all, They're all unconscious dead? or dead. Oof. I mean, I did say what I said. Are there any within five feet? I'd say yeah. There's one. There's one right behind him that he stepped yeah, over. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna hit it with a d6 of damage. Just like I don't. Sure. Yeah. Scary. Go for it. Six points. Six points. <laughs> The body is just in flames. Cinders. All right. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Feel good about that. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm dead. You got it. All right. Hua, you're up. Slaughter, you're on deck. Um, oh, no. Whoever is uh, near me, I want to do a 10 foot sphere of frost cloak. Uh, so who can be near me right now? Uh, right here? now, uh, near you? Tavima's near you because Tavima hasn't moved from the spot previously, and Slaughter's near you. The other two members have kind of darted off a bit. All right. Everyone just, as the humans say, stay cool. Um, <laughs> I wrap my arms in a big motion and frost comes from my fingers and a cloak of frost wraps around you, giving you a plus one to your AC and also your resistance to cold damage, which doesn't do a lot of good. <laughs> However, things can get weird. the frost stays on you and every time you are hit by a melee attack by an enemy, you do three cold damage to them automatically. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful. And it lasts for Shoot. 10 minutes. Hell yeah. And I think I, should I move away from the lava land? Where are, <laughs> is there a safe looking spot that's not near the monster and not near lava place where we're staying? Uh, you can either back up the stairs with uh, Mallory or you mm -hmm. could head to the side of the chamber and kind of flank off to the side. You have enough room where you'd be able to move into the chamber and still stay within eye shot. Um, I'll do that. But out of the battle. So I can cast later. I'll, okay. I move so you charge and kind of dart off to the side and you're now on the right hand side of this, this large kind of square chamber. You got it. All right, finishing Hua's turn. Slaughter, you're up. I'll, I'll angle left, uh, move a little bit. I'll pull a skull off of my body. All right. And I think I've been, you know what? I, I've been untrue to myself. I've been using my my necrotic powers to fuel these flaming skulls, but I haven't been using the greatest power of all, the power of the waiter. <laughs> so I will yell into the skull, one stack of Vermont dry, dry stack, Adam and Eve on a raft, four on two over easy, fire that order! And I'll throw the skull. <laughs> so stupid. Go for it. <laughs> He's just Natural no. one! No! <laughs> 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 Sam! Oh, Sam would be regal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! You, you throw the skull, and you, you as you as it leaves your fingers. <laughs> the creature is currently like focused on Grelnok, and you see, oh, it's heading right for it. Yeah. 
One of its side arms just catches the skull in midair, and it and just crushes it into skull dust in its fist. That's your action. <laughs> so sorry. I have not much left. I don't really. Nope. That's it. <laughs> I can. I can infuse my weapon with healing powers, but I don't hit anything, so <laughs> it won't really help. Okay. That's it. <laughs> All right, slot, 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 slot. Mallory, you're up with Grell Knock on deck. Um, I'm going to step forward a bit and so I can get a good another good view, and I'm going to do what I did last time with Lightning Splash. You got it. Except I'm going to add a Power Surge. Oh. Uh, that would be, it's a dexterity you said? Yes. It's a 12. <gasps> Yeah. So let's see what we can do. That's okay. <laughs> Thirteen points of lightning damage. Thirteen points of lightning damage. As it's like crushing the skull in its fist, and it's kind of gloating a bit in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> the blast hits it on the other side. It. <laughs> you can see it's getting frustrated and angry and swinging its fists about. You're having. I'm not gonna like kind of dart back to not be slammed as they're swirling around. Uh, is there any cover to be had, or is there no cover to be had? Um, you can move in, do that, and then move back out if you'd like. But... Just a step. I want to. I have a okay. plan for next for next okay. round. So. so you just kind of step to the side. You still have a little bit of a view. You have like half cover. How how are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty. I'm a nine out of twenty-one. How 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 far away? She's about 20, 25 feet from you. Could I make it? Do you think or no? If you don't move back, you could probably get to her. I'm going to make that run and hand off a potion. Actually, a bonus action. Can I use a, a potion on someone else or a bonus? To you, it's an action to use it on somebody. So it's a bonus action for them to use it. What, what if he throw? What if he opens the bottle, throws, and I open my mouth? And then it's <laughs> we can do that, but that, that's a, that's a check. Uh, no, never mind. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm totally open for trying it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We've not been rolling well. <laughs> and I turned this into a '90s Gatorade commercial. Let's do this. That's a, yeah. That's, All right. That's a bonus action next. So now you are both out in the open on the right hand side of this chamber. Uh, and that ends your turn, Miller. Yeah. If I can step away, I will. But if not, I'm just. No. It takes, yeah. takes your full movement to get up to here to pass that off. Um, all right, so that finishes your go. Growl knock, you're up. Let's go. All right. God, I'm gonna, Come on. I'm going to just swipe down with a venomous claw. <laughs> That's my bonus action. You got it. Go for it. Roll. Uh, that would be. Um, uh, 15? 15 hits. Oh, good. Good. Oh. That's nice. 14 plus 6 is 20 points, plus nice. three, 23 points of poison damage. You strike down the front of its armored chest, and the armor kind of breaks a bit. Some of the chains go free, dangling. And in that like thick, reddish, orange armored hide across its, its torso, there's this like series of black gash marks that begin to just seep this this dark kind of purplish black ichor from within it. I'm Drip take down. My battle axe and slam it into the gash. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it, Laura. <laughs> oh, uh, that would be 25. That hits. And I'm going to spend a stamina point, another stamina point and get an extra d8. Damage on that. You got it. So that's nine plus seven. 16, nice. 16 points. 16 wow. points of damage. Nice. So after striking downward, it kind of like reels back, takes a step onto its back leg to kind of catch itself. And with that, you use that opening and jam it down. And the axe only sinks maybe an inch or two into the chest at the first impact. And then you just push forward into it and sink it another inch. And it yells out in pain from the impact. You're starting to see some wear and tear on this being. Okay, okay, nice. okay. Ah. I'm gonna wipe my mouth. Ooh. Let's say, yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't know what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that finishes your turn? Yeah! Okay. With my axe in it. The axe gash. What do you think for a restaurant Ooh, name? Oh! Uh, I put that, I write that down. <laughs> Yo, write it down. <laughs> uh, it's, you watch as it now kind of reaches behind it's back with oh, one no. hand, and whoosh, almost pulled from the ether, a long sword emerges in one hand. And it's going to go ahead and make 
uh, a longsword strike and three claw strikes against you. Oh, shit. Oh. I should have gotten up there. I'm sorry. Oof. Oh. Oops, I caught. I'm resistant lot. to all of these. That's good to know. Ooh. Uh, well, the first is a uh, 21 to hit with a longsword. Hits. Don't forget about the plus one from. From who? From what? From Hua? Oh, yeah. She, yeah you, I don't think you were in the area. Was I wasn't in the area. Three, yeah. But no, any we're... hit that I take does get a D4 plus one force damage because of my hardened armor. Dunk. That's hardened great. Arm. So that is seven points of slashing damage for the longsword. Okay. Which you said is halved? Halved. To three. Okay. That's great. That's the first D4 you get. So. Oh, and then a D4. Ooh, four plus one is five damage to it. Nice. Let's go. That's a natural 20. <gasps> oh boy. With one Sir? of its claw strikes. Ooh. 14 points of Ooh. flashing damage reduced to seven. Okay. And another d4. And then another uh, four points of force damage. Whoa. Love it. Force damage. That's that is going to be 17 to hit. 17 armor class. No. Thing. I wish I had thing. Dang it! Eight points of slash damage reduced to four. Mm. Last hit. Wait, wait, for... wait. Five points of force damage. Okay. Force damage. Oh my god. And that's going to be 18 to hit. <sighs> okay. Shit. <laughs> uh, that's going to be six points of slashing damage reduced to three. Okay. Yeah. Come on, buddy. You up? That's a lot. Two points of force damage to it. You got it. I'm still up, but I'm I'm hurt. They're trading blows. Just flashes of energy off as they're both just hitting it, striking her. You watching as Grelnock is taking hits and still holding strong. The blood's starting to spit out of her mouth as she's holding her front point. That finishes the creature's turn. That brings us to Tavima. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Did I waste? Uh, my chance for. I can't tell if I think it gets used when you actually activate it, and then it's done. It's, okay, I cool. Can't quite tell. Here, I'll give you the. All right. So on that, this is for uh, crystal weapon. Yeah. Crystal weapon. The duration is one round. But is that the one round of, of its use, or is it? When it's curled. just the charge, and if you That's don't use it, used. it just. If holds. you don't use it, in the next round it goes away. All right, so that's gone. Sorry. Yeah, so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna run up and shield charge it. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, 14? 14 is its armor class. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Amazing. Nice. Uh, and they make a DC 13 strength save. All right. Get knocked prone, buddy. Uh, it rolls a 15. Yeah, okay. That, <laughs> this guy's pretty it's it's huge. It's pretty beefy. Are you it? Uh, ooh, yeah, I would have tried to come over to the side to like get to the side. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, you, you, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to flank. Oh, okay. Because with, with your movement, because you didn't quite catch up entirely from where she was up front, because you kind of stayed back and blasted it. Okay. So it would take your full movement to kind of get up into the side, but you're not flanking it. Got right. it. Okay. Cool. So you rush to the side and just kind of like Captain America slam it into <laughs> the side with your shield in front and it kind of like <laughs> takes the impact. Okay, it still takes five points of fire damage from backlash as that like goes down. Indeed, yeah, it does. Um, nice. Shoot, and I will burn one more stamina to puncture it. Okay. So DC fourteen Dex save. No six. Yes. Okay. Uh, ten points. Damn. Of piercing damage. Are you puncturing it with the shield? The center of the shield. Yeah. Has a little yeah. spiky boy on it. I'm like cool. <laughs> <laughs> As you pull back, it leaves this kind of splattering trail. You hit something, something nasty in there. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right, finishes your turn. Hua, you're up. Slaughter, you're on deck. Okay, so uh, the potion is a bonus action, right? To take Correct. It? Uh, what is it again? A one. That's 1d6 plus one to heal, and you regain one stamina if you've spent it. Oh, that's amazing. So that's uh, seven. Great, feeling great. And then my stamina. Um, in that case, uh, I was gonna do something different, but the stamina changes things. I run up to this thing. I pull out my ice staff. I get all crazy in the eyes again. It's time to die. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> nice. Go for it. Roll for an attack. All right. <clears throat> Holy, that's a twenty-one to hit. That yeah. hits. Right. And then we've got. Uh, that is a five. Uh, plus six, that's six, and then I use my extra stamina point to add 1d10. 
so six plus four, ten. Come here, come here, come here. Is <laughs> uh, fifteen. That's a single point of damage. Fifteen? <laughs> yes, fifteen damage. <laughs> just got fifteen. That's <laughs> awesome. Swing forward as you do. You see, like the the ice staff begins to fill with crystalline ice magical energy, kind of as you swing wide and as you do strike, it impacts and shatters. And as it blasts it, the the from the left hand side, the creature falls to one knee. You can now see the shards are stuck in the side of it, and they each individually kind of burst in the side, leaving these open wounds where they were. Well done. Die, you beast! (laughs) I love it! And then that's my turn. All right, finishing (laughs) Bolt's turn. Great leaves us to Slaughter and Mallory on deck. Is it looking rough? It's looking hurt, it's still... Oh, no! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh! Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's a powerful beast. It's a powerful beast. I will try something different. I will use my stamina, and I will unfurl an orb-like web at my foe. Mm-hmm. Um, and I will try trapping webs. You've I don't... got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it has DC it's 14. It's a DC 14 dexterity save. Natural 18. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam! I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> Webs! <laughs> what? <laughs> we brought a LARPer to a sword fight. This is going so He <laughs> keeps tossing beanbags weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, so the orb, though, it... it, it <laughs> and the webs splatter behind it. <laughs> and it kind of like shrugs them off a little bit, but the next turn it'll still explode as long as he stays there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if it didn't hit him, but went past him, is it near where Tavima is, or is it in danger? Well, it still impacts the area. It's okay. just him being able to avoid it because you didn't roll to hit. This is him okay. rolling to dodge it. So it still blasts in the area behind him, and the web's still there. It doesn't hit any of your friends because you aim just beyond it to get him in the space. And he's a big dude. Um, so he's not caught in the just web. Just you wait. <laughs> uh, we need to like oh. back him up gently into it. <laughs> Go on, get. Come on. All right. I'll Come just on. sort of edge along along the other side. Okay. Do you have any going. healing? Huh? Do you have any healing? I can only heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you healed him. You healed him with a rage. I can only do that once per short rest. <laughs> And I'm out. I'm already out of Magicka. <laughs> oh, <God>. Okay. <laughs> Mallory, you're up. <laughs> I'm. I'm going to try and flank where I'm going to run up and flank wherever there's flanking to be had. Okay. You run into the web to do that. Oh, is that a? Just to be aware, the the creature right now it has Grelnok. Uh, Tavima and Hua, like kind of like all kind of in the front and side of it, and then to its back and left is just this web that you just watch him throw. Oh, so there's I'm no not real like run into that then. Yeah, there's, the space is a little crowded right now. You you could maybe like with where you are now because nah, you're on on the opposite side. You'd be able to to get into combat with it, but nowhere no place that you could flank it. That's okay. Are, I, will, I will try and get safely into combat with it. In the okay, so you rush him and you're kind of squeezing in next to. Uh, Tavima and Grelnok. Not gonna end well. Hey, all right. Let's. <laughs> I have no magic left, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna hit it with my stick. <laughs> hit it with your stick, buddy. <laughs> uh, that guy now. No. <laughs> hey, do you want to back up, buddy? I'm gonna back up if I have anything to back okay. up. With. The good news is you do hit it. It's just not hard. No, it's really not. Seven, seven. Yeah, no. No. All right. And so you're backing up. Just a, just a hair. Just a hair. Okay. Because that's gonna oh, that's true. On you. No, 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 I forgot about that. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a 17 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. No, no. You take uh, eight points of slashing damage. Yeah. Oh, the cook! But you step five feet back and you're like not in melee with it at the moment. So. I will keep backing up as much as I can to get away from it. Uh, you can move up five more feet back because yeah, you, you took it. a lot of movement to get up into the fray. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, that finishes your turn, Mallory. Uh, Grelnok, you're up. All right, I'm gonna, with my free hand, take that potion that I found and down it. Yeah. Which gives me a four. <laughs> okay. Wow. And uh, one additional stamina point. Um, and I'm gonna hit it with my axe. Do it, roll for an attack. <laughs> 
That is a uh, 21. 21, that definitely hits. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my, uh, one of my regain stamina to add a uppercut to this. Hell yeah, go for it. Cool. Uh, six plus six is 12 points. 12 points of damage. damage, looking real rough. <gasps> As you strike it and then just uppercut it from behind. Poof, in the bottom jaw, you see teeth break and spray, and as it looks down to you, it's like blood pouring out of its jaw. Open wounds everywhere. The venom is still kind of like pulsing and infecting the scratch from earlier. The axe and slashing wounds, the ice gashing. It's looking really, really rough. All right. I finish this turn. Got. All right. It's now the Runok monster's turn. Oh, no. And Hit you're, me. You all rushed in to be pretty close. Yeah. The bottom two. <laughs> Arms begin to no, 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 swirl no. around once more, oh, and then pulling upward the ground beneath you three. You moved back because you took that type of opportunity, but you're out of the fire now. Glows brightly, and then oh, all no. the fire erupts, engulfing you three. I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Give a plus one on saving throws, right? Is your is your thing still up, Wa? Uh, it is still up. It's a uh, like for uh, <gasps> uh, 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 sorry, uh, ten minutes. Um, I rolled a nat twenty, by the way. <laughs> Both of you got nat twenty. That's yeah! amazing. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's good. So you both take Double only down. nine Triple points down. of fire damage. Only nine? Yeah. Are you, you get, are you up? I failed. Barely? Okay, 18 points of fire damage. I'm down. Oh no. Oh. Ground lock. As the flames <laughs> subside, you both kind of like, <sighs> and you both look over on the ground, singed and currently burning, just flames. No, 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 no. No! And the ground beneath you. Is beginning to continue to burn since you're still in the no. stage. You can see there's like a lava pool right there. Oh no! no. She w- she made a mediocre my head off. drink. Use it as a skull. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll hit with it. <laughs> Maybe the name of our restaurant can be Grill Knox Skull. Oh, oh that's All right. Your name. Put it on the pike uh, in the front. Uh huh. <laughs> that's gonna finish its turn. TV money, you're up. Ugh. No. You're my best friend. She's down. Uh, Heal we're, her. I think we've got at it. All right. Um, just a normal attack. Go for it. Yeah. Big old um, swing of no, your sword. Let's do backlash one more time with, for my last magica. Just got to burn it. You got it. Uh, please fail. Uh, that is going to be a 16 on the DC. Not. It's good. You made it. Never mind. Um, normal attack. 17 to hit. 17 hits. Go normal damage. Uh. I don't know what an eight is anymore. I'm very nervous. Uh, ten points nice. of, of slashing damage, and then I'm going to use my last stamina to puncture it. Go for it. DC 14 dex save. Natural 20. Ooh. Shoot! Okay. All right. That's Later. it. turn? I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, you don't move out of the um, the, the ground no. currently okay. burning up? Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, if they fail, oh, you didn't fail, so I didn't have to burn my stamina. So no, for my bonus action, then I'm going to use my last stamina for shield wall. Well, if you use your bonus action to try the, the oh, that's puncture. right, that's right. Never mind. No, no, I it's a free. Care. Sorry, free action is puncture. It's a free action, so you can still use your bonus action if you want to. Yeah. No, but I attempted backlash for a bonus action. You did, so yeah. So no. we're good. So you're good. Okay, but you're staying put, or are you moving out of the the heating ground? Um. Yeah, I'll back up. Is there any way I can take no? Can I take Grelnock with me? You can. Mm? You can. Yeah, whatever it takes. Okay. Gotta get her out of there. You grab her and pull back. Because the creature has gone again, it does take an attack of opportunity yeah. on you. Oh, no. It has disadvantage! It does. <laughs> this is the first thing that's attacked me. That's true. <laughs> the other thing. <laughs> You're right, shield wall. Well, no, it doesn't have disadvantage. No, 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 no it's, no, not, it's not from Shield Wall. It's from when I did my rune focus forever. Oh, that's right. You're right. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's uh, still a 16. Does that hit you? No. Nice. Because yeah, of the plus one. Because of the plus one. Nice. Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, God. It's it swings all wide. Together. As you're yes. pulling her back, you look up, right, as you see this one arm arc down the slow mo shot as the blade comes towards you. In that brief moment, you see Hua out of the corner of the eye kind of just flex that magical aura, and the, the, the slight burst of frost kind of just shears it off, and it misses you by millimeters. Also, because it tries to hit her with that, it gets plus three, da- uh, three damage of frost damage. If it hits or if oh, it misses? Uh, oh, I don't know. It just says if. Oh, they're hit. Right, so it's okay. Better 
I think in this circumstance. Yeah, please. <laughs> right, you know, yeah. All right. That's <laughs> awesome. And with that, you pull uh, Grill Knock out of the way. Well done. So you do not take fire damage at the end of your turn. Go, 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 go. All right. Why you're up. Heal our bartender. I don't have any more healing left because oh, I can only no. use it once for a short rest. A <laughs> no, you guys didn't take a short rest. You went right in. You should have taken a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Regret. Um, I'm going to cast Swarm. I need to get away. It's going to kill me if I do that. I'm going to cast Swarm and just try to kill it with it. I think it already uses its reaction. It did already use its reaction. Yeah, so you oh. can move if you want to. Oh, I heck, I move away. Uh, you move so, so far away. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going I, to. <laughs> 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 My full move in is 30 feet. I move. Um, and then I do uh, Swarm again. I cast a bunch of uh, Fetcher Flies into the air. They must make a DC 14 con saving throw. You got it. Natural 17. <gasps> okay, they take half of the damage. Takes half damage, though. So it still damages it. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Um, f- uh, 11, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 19 divided by 2. So nine points of damage. Yes. <sighs> it's looking real hurt, y'all. Oh my god. That's real hurt. You can do this, Slaughter. Okay. You're up. Slaughter! Slaughter! All right, Slaughter, it's your turn. What are you doing? You can what are you do doing? it. Pick off a skull. No. <laughs> not that one. No. Not that one. I'm going for the smallest one. <laughs> and I close my eyes. <laughs> and I throw, throw blindly. Trying to hit this <laughs> fucking thing with a fucking skull. Nineteen. Oh my god! It hits. Okay. I hope it's not totally immune to fire damage. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's fire damage already. It's taking fire damage. Okay. Six points of fire damage. Plus, I assume the trapping webs explode. <gasps> That's right. <laughs> Hold on, let me look that up. Hold on. Oh, there it's right here. Yeah, they do. They would explode. So, which is another ten points of poison damage. I cannot believe I'm about to. Yes. How do you want to do this? Yes. Long con, indeed. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, as I hurl, as I hurl <laughs> the skull, I just say, "My name is Slaughter Grim, and I will be your server tonight." <laughs> and I just arc it right straight for the for the eye, so the skull eyes hit in the, in the eyes. <laughs> Full on, like we're talking Fury Road camera work, as it goes towards the, his perspective. <laughs> It hits it in the forehead and like it goes a little cross-eyed and <clears throat> takes a couple steps back and it's still standing, but its feet get caught up in the web right as the web begins to light up. Mm-hmm. And it kind of looks back at the web and looks at you. Oh, <laughs> And you just watch it <laughs> get blown into pieces, <clears throat> spattering the inside of the room with daedric gore, <gasps> raining from above. Let's stabilize oh, really oh, quickly. Oh yeah, how do I do that? Can I make a medicine check? Can make a medicine check. I run over to, to her, but I don't touch her because my hands are needles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like worse than rogue. <laughs> Does someone help? I can help, I can help. Thank you, okay, yeah, thank please. You. Do you want to roll? Yeah, because I got a seven. Um, I got a seven also. Oh God. Make that save for me. We're, wait, oh, sorry. wait, no one can what's help the, What's her? your medicine check? It's fail. Three. Okay, oh, wait, do, it, do again and I'll assist. Wait, I think I can do I something. Oh. Maybe, maybe? I'm also <laughs> I'm just not a good roller. Uh, here, I'll, I'll cast. I, I do have two. So if I cast hungry scythe oh, <laughs> on, on, on Grelnok's weapon, Tavima, can you pilot her hand to hit me with it? <laughs> because it will heal the wielder of the weapon. <laughs> as you say it, I just grab her limp hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so we, you haven't cast it yet. Oh, <laughs> so roll for attack. <laughs> Wait, I haven't cast it yet. I, oh I you asked if it would happen. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so you finish oh. the question and then woof, just. <laughs> uh, did you? What did you roll to hit? Sorry. Two. Do you want to cast it first before I do it now? Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then that's a twenty-one to hit. It hits. <laughs> so go ahead and roll damage with the longsword. <laughs> Or the, sorry, the battle. I don't know if this works. Oh, the battle, 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 battle yeah. You can roll it. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
Uh, that's fine. Uh, seven. So it says, on your next successful attack, it, you heal yourself half of the damage that you dealt to the target. So you, you take seven points of slashing damage, <laughs> and you come to consciousness, healing up three points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We got it. I can't believe that worked. More or less. This is going to hero. <laughs> I don't believe it. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. It didn't happen. No, it did happen. It, did. it was glorious. It, it was very nice. It was that sweet that you guys want. Oh, mm, it didn't happen. <laughs> She's not going to believe me. That's all right. I'll, I'll prove myself with diligent weight staffing. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Everyone okay? Are we? That was. Should we take fun. a rest? What? 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 What did we just kill? What? What? Yeah, what, <laughs> what, what? What's my voice? I still don't what, know. What do we just kill? <laughs> what did we just kill? I'm gonna examine this chamber a little bit. <laughs> Can we short rest while you examine the chamber? Yeah, oh, that would be great. I would love a short. Cool. Make an investigation check if you like. Oof. So many ingredients. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Eight. Eight. That's not, worse. it could be worse. Anybody else want to make an investigation check? I'm busy. Uh, sure, I'm I'll try. I get desperately. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk around. Too. Sure, sure. so the two of you are going to run. Natural 20. Let's go. Late game. Late, I'm a late, late bloomer, bloomer, guys. It's right at the end. <laughs> Between the two of you looking about, this appears to be some sort of a vault <laughs> um, that was designed to contain something but it appears to be empty, and it had been empty for a while. And with a natural 20, you piece together that some of these other bodies and the conversations you've heard and the notes you've found, that these were some odd cultists looking at the masks and some of the iconography and the shape of it and the shape on the door there are facets of it you can see that all connect to the name Merun's Dagon, which you had decreed unto the group before. They were Ronan's here searching for something. What? Coming Ronan, to, Ronan's middle name. Yeah, obviously, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, coming to search for the ambitions you had overheard. Uh, come to prove themselves, but apparently failed, or what they're seeking is not here any longer, but whatever this place is, it's around the corner from your tavern, and uh, whatever you can scavenge from it for the time being, before any other looters seem to follow suit, is yours to cash grab. We need 300 gold. Is there anything we can take off this uh, four-armed body? Any other cultists got these sick robes on? Yeah, 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 we definitely get get those robes. There's four other ones. They could be uniforms. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's great. I feel like they're matching. If we sell like one of them, that should be enough to square a debt. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Are they all magic? We'll look around for more. They debt. all are considered the spider silk robes. So wearing them gives you plus one to AC and plus one oh, to I'll saving throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I'll put them on. Uh, between the two of you, you also know that these robes are uh, probably uniform, right? Because all of them are wearing it. So whoever, whatever group they belong to, this is definitively. Uh, a sign of who they are. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, we probably don't want to be part of this group, but um, it's a great, like, costume, or maybe we can just kind of rub out the symbol on the front, I don't know. I mean, you, you could have it paid to be dyed, maybe, or yeah. something. We can, we can find somebody to do well, that. Come on, purple. Purple. Yeah, I just wear like a, I got a, yeah. I got a thing. I got a guy. We still need money. Yeah. yeah. What about the body, the forearm body? Anything so the torso was exploded. Um, <laughs> There, there are four arms, <laughs> and the head is still intact, just at different parts of the chamber, and the most like kind of lower part of the legs that are now just kind of down the stair a little bit. Um, but you do have a head, and you have a a note asking to. I will carry this. Find oh, anything that remains within. I've got powerful within. build, so oh, all you I can carry it oh, pretty easily. Do you put it on your head? No, I put it on my back like a backpack. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gathered the materials, gathered some of these found artifacts, the information, or at least shreds of information about what transpired here and what this cult was after. 
as well as a connection of an individual looking to pay for this information and proof of what this might be, you all slowly begin to make your way up from the depths beneath the hill with the hope and seeming confirmation that with the right questions and the right new friends, you might be able to pay off your debts. And with that, we're going to go ahead and close this. We still have. Yeah, we, we have to name our tavern at least. Oh, we have to decide too. on it before we. Uh... Okay. Well, we'll no. say we'll say as an epilogue to this, as we as as we go to credits and the credits roll and we're down. There's the after credit scene as you're all back and getting cleaned up in the tavern. What a night! <laughs> 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 Just this sad shawarma. Can you make shawarma? Of course. There's. I mean, I've had stuff curing this whole time. Tight. There's already. I'm just going to go in and start scraping. Whatever. So read off that list. Oh, I wrote down one of the things. <laughs> you said you were writing them down the whole we time. We had described it with my imagination. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, we then what's the one you wrote pins. down? We had dirty hole. Yeah. Dirty hole. Dingy hole. Yeah. Silver Night lining. Silver lining. We had a real good hole. Really nice <laughs> hole. A really, a really, really nice, nice hole. hole. There you go. Grelnock skull. Huh? I still think it's solid. Hmm. I think that's. That's got to be in the like, in the uh, mix. Maybe that'll be the subtitle of the like underneath the the main, mm. you know, uh, kind of name gonna, name plaque. We have, yeah, a, under have a tavern a with a subtitle. With a tavern. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slightly joint. I don't joint. know. It could be good. a thing. Yeah. See. I like it. <laughs> Should we just pick the dirty hole and <laughs> then stick with it? Dingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dingy. dingy. I think dingy hole. Dingy. The dingy, dingy, dingy hole. Hole and not pit. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. W H O L E or H O L or H O L E? Do we want to get weird? I don't know. H O A W H. Yeah. Yeah. W H. Dirty hole. Yeah, the, the dirty dingy hole. Hole. Dirty hole. Hole. Critical role. What does that mean? I don't know. A terrible the title. The dirty hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll attract the exact kind of clientele we want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, you know what? We'll workshop it in the epilogue to the epilogue. <laughs> yeah, this is the return of the king of multiple endings. Yeah. <laughs> it's still not done. <laughs> the dingy hole it is. I don't like it, though. <laughs> I'll, we'll make up some new I don't ones. like it. We started with jugs. How did we burn get here? Journal? Yeah. Ghost jugs. The, no burn, ghost the burn jugs. journal? The burn, the burn journal. The burn journal. Oh. Oh. There. It sounds like you're like Southern trying to speak French. Burn journal. Burn journal. Burn journal. Burn journal. Burn journal. Grill knock skull it is. <laughs> that I kind of like though. Yeah. And then we could put the big skull out there and they'll think that's oh, grill knock. Oh, I like yes. it. I like it. You were I, my team and we're born again. I like that. <laughs> As you all begin to nail the large skull to the front of your. Uh, business endeavor and paint in the name Grelnock Skull into the front. <laughs> we pull away to the grot wood. <laughs> and who knows? Perhaps there's more adventures to tell down the road Ooh. about this group of odd individuals. And there we go. <gasps> our inaugural episode here of oh. our Elder Scrolls Online game experience. A huge thank you to Bethesda and Zenimax Online Studios for working with us to make this happen. Um, those of you, once again, who uh, have the chance and want to go check it out, uh, ESO's Blackwood chapter release is coming up soon, as well as all the multiple DLCs. It's going to be awesome. Check all that all out at www.elderscrollsonline.com slash buy. And uh, yeah, is it Thursday yet? Good night. <laughs>